sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> Let me guess. It's about the milk thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Lawrence, you want to put your headphones on? Just drool oh, on yourself. No, it was water. You so <laughs> just drink water. <laughs> just so you drink water. Is... <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, yo, the he was saying because I was drinking water uh -huh. was the reason why like he thought about the chocolate. I don't know where the connection was because <laughs> I'm neither drinking chocolate milk and neither was it slapped. <laughs> so oh, that, I thought you were talking about the balancing nah, the milk thing. No. Nah, nah. Oh, you talking about the J thing? Yeah. 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 And yo, my fault, J. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo. <laughs> The reason, because I was like, yo, for the longest time, I really thought you were, like, enabled, bro. Like, I was like, yo, what's wrong with him? Like, why does he just have these random outbursts, bro? <laughs> I'm the same guy. No, I'm yeah, you don't do no, 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 no. You evolved like a Pokemon. Straight up, bro. I'm the same. You were Bulbasaur yeah. for mad long. Bro. I'm the same dude. For bro. mad long. I'm the bro. same dude. No, bro. Yeah, yeah. Y'all really trying to tell me I evolved into this Lawrence different person, Lawrence. Bro, you definitely did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you weren't, you weren't oh. funny. I was at funny. all. You were at funny. all. I was Not funny at all. He's funny, bro. What are you talking about? What and you should, which is to say, um, what was it? Things like at inappro inappropriate times, mm -hmm. where like it's like, yo, read the room, bro. Yo, but I still do that oh. today. It's just, it's just funnier now. It's like you lacked awareness, <laughs> and then it just <laughs> rolls out of nowhere. Uh huh. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Different metal plate, maybe. <laughs> like I don't know, bro. Wow. The plate shifted. Right? Yeah, the plate shifted. <laughs> that is gonna spin. All episode roasting me, bro. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Yo, bro, this, every time a memory gets mentioned, I think of like 20 more, bro, that include you. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Ooh. All right, anyway. <laughs> it's warm in here. Yo, it is. Yeah. It's no. a little toasty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome, 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 everyone, to That One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Sam. And this is That One Piece Talk, where we talk One Piece. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! I am so happy to be here again with the guys. Why? It's episode 144. We got six more episodes until 150. Damn. Mm. 150. Yeah. Crazy. What an amazing episode it will be. For today's agenda, we will be reviewing the official release of One Piece Chapter 1111 from Viz Media and celebrating our newest milestone of hitting 100,000 subs on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will get into that conversation in a little bit. If you haven't liked the video yet, please do. We have a Discord. Don't be hesitant to join. If you listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please leave us a five star with a nice comment. We will read all your Super Chats organically. They will not go unread, and we apologize in advance if we don't get it if we don't get to it in a timely manner. Uh, if you wish to send us mail uh, and you want us to open it up on stream, we have our PO box address within the video description. But thank you as always for supporting us. Now let's say what's up to chat. Read some. Actually, so we no, we should read some super chats. And then we'll hop into the milestone and then, you know, the chapter. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll say what's up to everybody in the chat. Uh, I see Trev. I see Charles Hurley in the chat. What is what? he doing here? Who, Who is that? that? <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> what's up, brother? What's up? We got uh, the Finesser, Twilight Straw Hat, Firearms, Sedgefield, Lovo, Alex Charlton, Skylance, Darius Chase, Go Out There, uh, <laughs> Obelisk, <laughs> Mr. Prince. Uh, cable Beltron. Oh, I was definitely not cable. It's okay, bro. My fault. Tony <laughs> Joyner, T Dot, uh, so Stoic Wolf, Young Lou, 
just so many of y'all in here. Huncho D. Hose, Mamba Kid, uh, The Finesser. I think I said Finesser already. Uh, Rowan Smith, Connor Cole, Playgon, Jabo, AJ Anderson, Sosa, Quavo. What up, Quavo? Quave. Uh, just so many of y'all. Imaha. What up, Imaha? Toby. Shout out to the mods in the yeah, chat. What's mods. up, mods? Shout out to Mod Charles. Kojo. I'm not, I'm not modding Charles, bro. He, 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 he ain't not, putting in no yeah, work. Yeah, he not doing <laughs> He ain't putting in no work. He ain't even paying attention. Tarif, what's up, Tarif? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of, lot of people in chat, man. Like the stream if you guys haven't already. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And hit that sub button if you haven't subscribed already. Join the Honey K. Uh, we did get... I'll just start reading Super Chats now. We did get a $50 Super <laughs> Chat. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. To, for, I, I can't read the full name. Sorry, I think bro. It's, I think it's Luffy needs to try some booty meat. It says, just wanted to show my support real, real quick. Shout out to Larry. He made a theory about Luffy turning anything he imagines into reality, like the goggles he created in Chapter 1070. Thought it was a bad take, but was proven wrong. Best One Piece pod on Spotify. Hashtag Buggy Gang. Shout out to the Spotify. Thank you. Listen, Wait, man. do I take credit for that? By all means, he gave you credit. I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Another five from Mama Kid. It says, congrats on 100K. Well deserved. Only going up from here with a toast emoji. Uh, it says, be hashtag best pod out. Thank, thank you, Mama. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you for the 50 again. You, That's a lot. Thank yeah. you so much. And thank you for the five. Another 20 from Villain D Juice. Thank it you, says, Juice. Been a while since I've been able to catch a live. Had to isolate and get on my better help vibe afterward. Getting out of the Marines. Mm. Appreciate your service, man. Congrats on 100K. Hashtag topped on top. Hashtag bring back the DDT. <laughs> hashtag RIP Shin. Hashtag like the stream. Hashtag best podcast around. Thank you, Villain. Thank you. Yes, thank that. you. Yeah. Also, we have to say thanks, do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, taking care of your mental health is very important, not just for the sponsorship. Uh, specifically, why we have the sponsorship is because it helps y'all. And the reason why we haven't found another sponsorship is because we haven't found one that helps the community. Right. We I've been looking for one, and it's very hard because you could just pick anything, mm -hmm. right? But I picked that specifically for you guys. So we it's just for you it's not for us but i'm glad you're using it my brother is in the marines my youngest brother shout out to ryan uh it's tough in there but like most things everything is tough so as long as you're getting the help you need man we appreciate you bro thank you for the 20. Yeah. i hope the the ddt's come back in some shape you know <laughs> soon too just waiting on it. <laughs> We're just waiting on hey, it. Hey, man. Villain for Fleet Admiral. Yeah. We got another 11-month membership to Nakama status from our guy, Toby. What's up, Toby? It says, Big 100K. Y'all the goats. Hashtag T-O-P-T for life. Thank you, Toby. Thank you. The toaster. Thanks, bro. Thank you. We got another 10-month membership to Nakama status from Plagon. It says... I hope Oda gets his beauty sleep with two heart emojis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to write that down so we could talk about it. Thank, yeah. thank you for reminding me. Yeah. I'll put that in the notes. Yeah. We got two more Yonko subscriptions from Obelisk and John Contreras. That is our highest form of membership. So please enjoy the emojis that come with being a Yonko and throw the Nakama fists up for our newest members. Yes. Thank you, guys. And we got 10 gifted memberships from Christian Reese. So thank you, Christian, for joining as a Nakama yourself and gifting memberships to others. Everybody throw the Nakama fist yes. up for Christian. Don't be using a chat for Christian if you're not a member. Thank you. Nakama fist if you are a member. Thank you sure. so much, guys. Yeah. Another 20 Canadian from Braden White. It says, hey, guys, had to get up super early to see this. I'm in Japan for two weeks. What should I do since I'm here? You got to go see Oda, man. You got to get some. No, no. He got to try some Mushu. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, there's Listen, so much man. to do in Japan, See if bro. it's sideways, bro. No, right, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. Bro. I'm done. What? I'm done. Bro. All right, what? I'm walling out. I'm walling out. Excuse me. You got to get his kids. I'm getting canceled, bro. <laughs> bro, what are you talking about? Yeah, what the... I'm done, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Do, do. Wear a kimono, bro. Something. I don't know. I gotta take my mind off. Larry said, Get into yeah. a samurai fight. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> Straight bump, bump, I, bump swords. Was, oh, not nah, pause. Bump swords? <laughs> it's like the hill. I actually saw the hill. I saw the hill. That was you guys saw. You know exactly why Larry thought you were there. I meant to say the Get a sword made. Get. Yeah, that would be dope. Get your sword polished. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I don't know where you're This is one of yeah, them wild vending machines, bro. I don't know. <laughs> what? You got another! <laughs> <laughs> Nine <laughs> 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 
<laughs> from T Dot, it's a shout out for the 100K. Best One Piece hot takes, even when Larry's wildin'. Fave podcast moment with a question mark. So I guess asking us what our favorite fo- podcast moment is. Hashtag Larry got bald takes. Hashtag <laughs> Law the Dilf. Hashtag Larry's racist. Hashtag, <laughs> I meant to say Seb is racist. That's what? my fault. It says Seb is racist. That's my fault. Uh, hashtag topped on top. Thank you. Uh, best podcast moment or favorite moment of the podcast? When the twins argue. That's always I wasn't my favorite. there for that, man. Yeah. That's the biggest That's one. That's my favorite. I was watching live. They don't, they don't know how to hold back <laughs> like we do. Like, we be walling, mm-hmm. but they just go off cuff, and they be holding back in life in general, right? <laughs> like, like they, they, they're they very conservative. They look good, you know? Like they, But when they go against each other, all of that goes out the window, <laughs> regardless of camera, regardless of anything. Hmm. I've said it before, but I think the cosplays for me, that was it was like a, a wild time in general. That was fun. I've never done that before. Never, And, yeah. like, it was fun to do it in this space. Yeah, this that was way. fun. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll go with those. Law? Um... Just, I mean, I, f- I was gonna say when we're laughing a lot, I feel like we're laughing like every podcast yeah. all yeah, the time. That's true. But I guess it will be, I can't call it, but the funniest podcast is probably because I love to laugh mm-hmm. and like make people laugh. So, you remember the funniest podcast? Like, no, no, no. I remember when Sebastian said, It's my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, I was laughing forever. Yo, dude's name was Where's My Bike, Wait, bro. I had to do it. Said, what, what bike? What, what bike? <laughs> La, La, oh Lano? man, the, nah, the <laughs> this I, my name come up for respect. Yeah, 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 that was funny. Marvin, my name come up respect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ready. Yo, hey, that kid. was so funny. Lionel's like, whenever I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the 50 episodes I was on, bro. They was so lit. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't lit without me. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. What'd you, what'd you, uh, what'd you think, Lion? I don't know, man. All right, bro. All right, next one. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. We got another 10. Just hold on. Before you guys, uh, just so you, I know a lot of you are still coming in, we're going to get to the chapter. We're going to talk about the milestones soon. We're just getting through the super chats right now. We're not going to go on forever, all right? We're not going to do that forever. We're just going to, like, take it easy. So it's a three-hour show. We're going to get through it. No. We got another 10 from King Cagney. It says, Seb and Larry are going to be funny today. <laughs> I hope I hope so, man. I think so. I hope so. Yeah, bro. We're not wearing hats today. Yeah. Yeah. We on the same vibes. Yeah. They yeah, wear hats. Yeah. Y'all, be, y'all be twinning, man. <clears throat> twinning hard. Y'all be twinning for real. I don't have a beard, though. Yeah, he does. That's the only way that the people could differentiate between y'all right now. <laughs> <Don't you know>? <laughs> <laughs> we got another five from Firearms. It says, sup, y'all. Hope everyone is having a good day. Congrats on Thank 100K. You. Y'all deserve much more. Surpass your limits. Hashtag T-O-P-T best pod. Thank you. Go Thank Plus you. Ultra. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah, bro. I'm like Deku when that muscle dude was like pushing down on him. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got bro. another five. Okay. I'm done. Bro. From Christian done, Reese. Bro. Hey, says, no more, bro. Love the content. Y'all have given me something to look forward to every Monday. Nights on my development. Deployment. I'm Deployment. Sorry. Yeah, my fault. I can't yes, remember. Christian, be safe, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, thank you for enjoying our content. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm. Another two. From Yo, Go you Man ever two? want me to like read so you don't have to, bro? No, I'm good. All right, I bro. find a rhythm. All I right, just, bro. I just can't <laughs> I'm just <laughs> considering you. <laughs> Stop considering me, bro. <laughs> I'm I. We got another two from Goatman Tees. It says, Yo, 100K, y'all got to dress up. Hashtag Daddy the Father Gang. What? Huh? From Yo, was, he, was he like... That was filler. Was that? He, yeah, he was filler, right? Yeah, Daddy Father. Daddy that, father. that sniper dude, yeah, that Usopp. Usopp still got to beat that dude, man. That was like the only sniper Usopp beat, and it was filler. It's Usopp. crazy. We got another <coughs> five-month membership to Warlord status from Luffy Nick. It says, yo, congrats. Who y'all got the most W's and L's between the four of you? What? With eyes. Who's got the most W's and L's? Between the four of us? In what? In what context? Like takes? Like fights? Takes? Life? Bro, I take, I take L's on the internet every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely me who takes the most L's, bro. The most W's has to be Lawrence. It's definitely me. No. That's crazy. No. Y'all literally just How highlighted my level up. Like, <laughs> for like 20 minutes. <laughs> earlier today. Lawrence has taken... Right? When's the last time Lawrence received like a bad super chat or comment, bro? 
I got one the other day. Did oh, I we say, counted just from from top. Did you just, I didn't just say that? Yeah. The guy that oh. said he had uh, what was his name? Lewis. That said he had beef with me. He was joking. Yo, and he super chatted <laughs> like five times to come at you, bro. It was yeah, crazy. you know he was coming at me. <laughs> That's <laughs> one person out of how many? People come at me, man. What you mean? Uh, I feel like it's me still. So. I feel like it's the twins, Sebastian, and then me. It's me. Straight up. And then me again. <laughs> and then maybe Lionel. And then me again. You're supposed to be like, die Lionel. Yeah. Like, me, me, me. All right. Um, let us know in the chat who y'all think takes the most L's. Or yeah. most W's. Another five from Dead, uh, from Kirby. It says, congrats on 100K, boys. We up their one millions next with the mm-hmm. sunglass emoji. <laughs> Hashtag Team Kendrick. Hashtag Drake is Mihawk levels of fraud. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Wow! Big bro. me, bum. <laughs> uh, we got another five from Unknown. Their first super chat and no actual chat attached. So thank you, Unknown. But next time, let us know your thoughts. We'd don't, love to hear from don't you. Don't leave it so unknown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another seven month membership to Nakama status from Anthony Herrera. It says y'all doing calls tonight with a question mark. 100K, uh, hashtag Larry always wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure we could do phone calls today because there's no virtual calls. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of like the thing now. So if we don't have a virtual guest, we'll have calls. Or we'll try to. Yeah, um, or we'll try to. Yeah, yeah. This is a pretty big chapter, but we have three hours, so we'll, we'll get to calls. I'm sure we'll get to calls. Yeah. <clears throat> have some faith. Another two. Uh, from Simba JKLG, it says, Dragon ain't coming. Hashtag <laughs> Simba D. Carey. Hashtag aren't you gay. Thank you, Simba. That's so funny, bro. Another 50 from Alex Charlton. Thank you. That's thank so you. much. Can we get thank some you. W's in yeah. chat for Alex? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, thank you. It says, big ups on the 100K. Congrats, fellas. This will be a banger. I can't wait to hear the cooks. God bless y'all boys. Hashtag T.O.P.T. Gang. Hashtag 100K. Hashtag Larry B. Cooking. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you so much for that 50, man. Appreciate that. We got another 20 from Roy Stokes. It says, congratulations on 100K, y'all. I found this pod in the community y'all have built. Y'all have helped me through a lot of long days over the past couple of months. Can't wait for all the pods to come. Hashtag Larry has W takes. I think you went in the W no. thing right no, now. No, no, I'm far it's behind. All- I'm in debt. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, in debt, bro. In W debt? Yo, bro. I'm, I'm in debt for the Ws, bro. Dude, I'm not even even out yet. I can loan you all uh, a W not, or two. Nah, you're not going to have any. I got them. <laughs> you're not going to have any, I got any, them bro. in the bank, bro. I need to borrow from I, Lawrence. Nah, bro. Right? My, my W bank is there, bro. It's, I'm, I'm good. I got a 401k set up. <laughs> I got... Decent, I got, I got, got options, pension, bro. Man. I got stock options over here. Thank you for <laughs> the compliments, man. And thank you for sticking with us through those hard days, man. I'm glad you guys find a lot of comfort in us. It's it's kind of a, a yeah. blessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Whatever thought. Yeah, yeah right? Especially you. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're so rude. Hey, I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. Happy yeah, you enjoy man. us. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. yeah, thank you. Keep it positive, bro. <laughs> I'm on my Kendrick. Keep mind, it gangsta, bro. y'all. <laughs> keep <laughs> it gangsta. <laughs> we got another two from PP McGee. I'm shocked it's not about Magellan. It says saw a debate on Twitter. Did Luffy beat Kata Curry? <laughs> I think plot beat Cat. But <laughs> that's whatever. Hey man, he had Snake Man in the tuck the whole time, bro. I'm just, I'm gonna just leave Snake it like Man that. Didn't win him that he fight, had though. Snake they, they, Man they, they, they in the tuck. Man. Win him that fight, he though. had Snake Man in the tuck, bro. I don't think Luffy won that fight in the tuck at all. But like, it's it's different. Like he didn't technically lose, but like it's more of a respect thing. Like <laughs> we can't get into this. Yeah, 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 but, can't, yeah. Bro. I would just say one thing. Notice how usually when Luffy beats someone, he has like this big smile on his face afterwards. Like I did it. He didn't have it at the cat because he's just like. When Cat, you know, stood up, and then he was just like, ah, damn, this dude stood up again. He was just, Luffy was done. <clears throat> Cat was done. <laughs> we got another 10. Uh, Canadian from Fort Zacks. It says, newer listener, wish my peeps loved One Piece this much to dish about. How y'all feel about the idea of Cross, build, cross Guild showing up on Egghead or Elbaf? Hashtag Top Goat. Hashtag Bond Clayed down his life for all of us. <laughs> Oh, man. I would need a reason, to be honest. I would need a reason. Like, if they went there to, like, capture, like, Kazaru or a Gorosei member, cool. But, like, I don't see them capturing a Gorosei member, so. 
Or one from <laughs> no, no offense to uh, Mihawk and Crocodile, but from what they said, why would they come? <laughs> Remember what they said? They said we ain't trying to. We, we ain't trying we to do say, it. Yo, yo, chill, <laughs> chill. We can't. Yo, we can't be doing all yeah, that, bro. Chill. They, they gotta tell Mihawk there's a there's another swordsman on the island. He gonna, he be, gonna like, be like, yo, let's go over there, bro. <laughs> They gotta come after me. <laughs> he, he not known though, so yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah, game nothing. Bro. I'm champion, right? I'm champion. Man. He, got, he got come after me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm oh, what's it? Uh, Michael Jordan with the rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got another two from C W. It says, "How about a DDT with O P versus My Hero Academia?" Uh, hashtag Dragon is Robin's dad. No to both. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'll be, I'll be real. I just don't. I haven't finished my hero. Yeah. Right? I'm not caught up. I'm like pretty far back. It's so like good. I wouldn't be able to do much like mm-hmm. conversation or setting up as far as matchups go. Mm-hmm. But I, I've had help before. So if y'all want to put a whole bracket together, let me know. Let yeah, me know. Wait, let's do like four more, and then we'll get into. Other talks. Okay. We got another 11-month membership to Warlord Status from Project Iceman. It says, hey, guys, awesome to see another stream of everyone. Good to see Lionel in consecutive streams. LOL. <laughs> Gonna upgrade to Yonko soon. Hey, hey man. Hey. Thank you, Project Iceman. Thank you. Thank Go you. at your Appreciate own pace, you, bro. Go at your own pace. Yeah, man. Thank <clears> you. <throat> Appreciate it. Another two from Kirby. It says, hashtag Larry is racist is my new favorite. Hashtag. That is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want that. That's that's pretty bad. Oh, Let's just leave it at sub. <laughs> Another two from Key. Key. I bet. My fault. I have a problem. Uh, it says, congrats on 100K. Best OP pod out with a goat emoji. Hashtag two shot <laughs> <laughs> What? Fuck, <laughs> Hey, there you go. Two oh, shots. Man. Thank you for representing that. <laughs> Another five from Joy Boy Mark. What up, Joy Boy? It says, hey, guys, been a minute. Congrats, guys, on 100K. Thank, Thank you, Joy Boy Mark. Mark. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. That. Good to see you again. For sure, bro, for sure. And then uh, another one euro from Alexandro Conti, but no uh, Super Chat attached. So next time, let us know your thoughts. Yeah, Alessandro, we want to hear from you, bro, but yeah. thank you. And then Iceman upgraded to Yako. <laughs> <laughs> Iceman, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, man. Enjoy the emojis that come with being a Yonko. We're going to do this last one, and then we'll get into the Super Chats more after we talk about the milestone. Okay. Yeah. We got another five from Cheesy Wombat 52 It says, congrats on 100K, guys. Y'all make my Monday better and inspire me to make my own content. Much love to everybody. Hashtag Buggy Gang. Hashtag Spotify Gang. Hey, thank yeah. you, man. Glad to hear it. Yo, can we get W's in the chat yeah. for our boy Cheesy Wombat for starting his content? Yes. Man. Listen, man, do what y'all want to do, man. Don't hold back, bro. If you think about it, do it. Just don't have any regrets making it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah keep everybody keep doing what you love, man. But other than that, yeah, let's, uh, we'll get back to Super Chats, guys. If you haven't given us five stars on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please do. And if you haven't left a nice comment, please do as well. If you haven't liked this video, please like the video. Um, but other than that, yeah, guys, we we uh, we had a hundred thousand subscribers. Um, and I figured we just talk about it for everybody. Uh, I have no idea what to do to celebrate it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm still planning something. Uh, ask Marv if we could do like a little, you know, thing here. That way we could celebrate it with the other podcasting uh, people. Uh, but yeah, if you guys wanted to just talk, I mean, about how you feel about hitting 100K as a pod. Um, let's start with law. I, th- I, I like starting with law. Honestly, I just I appreciate our community how much they're supporting us, and honestly, like you talked about before, like how much I guess the impact we have on them. Mm-hmm. It's just amazing to see how much they enjoy us, enjoy us being ourselves, and you know, you know, we can get stupid, and we could also get uh, very combative, like you know, with a back and forth and everything. But the fact that you guys are here with us to enjoy this journey that we've been going on for these past what two and a half years, it's yeah, about. yeah, it's just I think we hit. Three years in June with yeah. Marv? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be three years. Yeah. And it's just amazing support you guys have been with us. And honestly, t- thank you for being with us and continue being with us because uh, it's One Piece is going to keep, to me, it's going to keep getting better and better. 
Yeah. You know? So I appreciate you guys and thank you. Yeah. Lano? Now, say a lot of um, a lot of things with Lauren said I agree with. Like sometimes I feel like I don't have a good input on what we're talking about sometimes. Like so, but the fact that they enjoy us in general, like because again we're just talking about a show that we love, all of us love, and it's, we're just giving our takes. And but the fact you enjoy it so much and seeing that we're the best podcast around, that, that's crazy to me. But like yeah. so again, it's very appreciative that you guys are sticking with us and you and you keep on encouraging us to do better and you know and do as much as I can on. We are raising to higher levels. So, again, appreciate much to everybody um, for um, staying with us and continue for supporting us. So, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Sam? Uh, yeah, I have a couple things I wanted to say. <clears throat> First off, when I found out we hit the 100K, uh, I was out of town. It was overnight. It was like mad late night. I want to say it was like 2, 3 a.m. I kind of like woke up middle of the night and realized it. I was already celebrating because I knew it was going to happen. Mm. Um, and like I just popped a bottle of champagne in the hotel room. Nice. It was, yeah, it was it was a good time. Um, Shorty I was with got me mornings. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Company dime as well. It was a good time. Um, but overall, I was a little down because I was down there, or not why I was down there, but like our uncle Richard had passed. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. I was thinking about him. Mm. And, like, he had given me an offer way back when, when I was younger, uh, about living down there with him. Mm. And it hit me like, yo, if I took him up on that offer, we wouldn't be doing this podcast right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that Maybe. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I remember li- when we were down there, Lawrence, like, I was trying to, I was fiending to read Fishman Island chapters. Mm-hmm. Cause I would had like just recently kind of caught up in One Piece, yeah. And I was like, "Yo, this is wild! Like it's it's been that long and and everything." But overall, I, I love doing this every Monday. Like it's a joy to me. It brings me happiness. I love reading the comments that we get from you guys, and like how we get, engage with the community and how we seem to have a deeper connection with some of you guys. And um, the Discord has been amazing. Like, yeah. on days where I'm just, like, bored or whatever, I can go to Discord, and it's a community for me, for real. Yeah. Like, it's awesome. I'm totally going to win this week in fantasy basketball, certified, <laughs> so sucks to suck. Um, and, like, honestly, I, I didn't want to do this too much, but, like, I got to shout Larry out, bro. Oh I do. Oh, my God. This was his idea. <laughs> he put in more work than anybody I've ever seen in regards to anything to mm. make this happen. And... I know that, like, he always supports us, and, like, I try to do my best to support him, but, like, if y'all only knew, bro. Yeah. If y'all only knew the lengths that Larry would go to make this all possible. And shout out to Marv, too, and, and Bravery. Um, but seriously, I don't think I've ever seen anybody put more into anything. So yeah. I appreciate you, you, bro. I know you, you. I know we started today with you saying that about me. Yeah. <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know where that came <laughs> from. No, I just... But... I got the hand of the king on here for me. <laughs> you the king, bro. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Stop. You the king. Give Larry his flowers while he's alive, bro. You know why he's alive? He, 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 <laughs> what the? Yo, listen, am I dying sometime soon? Listen, man. Jesus. Give, give, give Larry his flowers, bro. Give Larry his flowers. You can borrow from the W Bank if you need it, bro. No, <laughs> Apparently, I ain't got much to hide. Can't take it with me. That's it for me, bro. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Um, so when when we hit 100K, um, I, I kept getting, like, people, like, you know, saying, like, oh, you're going to hit 100K soon, and you guys are, like, you know, really, you know, worldwide now, and, you know, you guys, uh, like, we, we got to be like you eventually, and, you know, I was just thinking back and just saying to myself, like, damn, uh, the, the perspective I have is... We're still in the uh, the attic, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's like a it's like a surreal feeling to know that, you know, we've we've had this relationship for so long, and we met through a past best friend of mine, and like ever since then we've been rocking, and to now finally be like, uh, like the men that we are, and just get to this point of, 
where like people know your names in like Scotland and people from India hit us up and we got people from Jamaica that know us and like even like within the states it's like it's so crazy to think that this all you know you've guys been doing it between you know your own brothers where like you guys were going back and forth but then I joined the fray and you know I feel like I just want to show you guys off to the world and now the world knows you and it's like for me it's like damn bro like if there's anything you could ever do for somebody you care about, it's just like bring them even more happiness. And I feel like because I know the hearts that you guys have and the way you want to make people feel good about who they are and like what they do and give them hope and stuff like that, especially Lawrence and Lionel, it brings me like happiness to to give you guys the like the the uh, the eyes to do what you do best. And I, I just feel like so much gratitude. Like, yeah, like, a lot of people don't know how much work goes into this overall. Nobody really knows. They just see, like, the achievements and the effects and stuff like that. But there was a time where I probably, like, almost sacrificed me and Sebastian's relationship, like, friendship-wise, you know, because we wouldn't hang out as much and stuff like that. Like, I could say we probably took, like, a backseat a little bit because of it. But he, like, he understood, like, people I was around understood, like, yo, this is a goal of mine. Like, this is a goal to just make us have the most successful but most impactful podcast and just en enjoy ourselves and i can't say enough how grateful i am to like all three of you for being here with me to all three of you just being yourselves and to marv especially you know like marv has been with us for almost three years he's produced every pod that we've had unless like he really couldn't you know we've asked things of him like you know, most podcasts probably don't because of where we're at now. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, I got to say thank you to Bravery Studios and thank you to Marv and and crew. So I don't I don't know, man. I, I just I'm just so grateful. I, I don't think a lot of people know how grateful I am, even of the bad comments that I get. In the, I'm like, yo, even then, like, you still know who I am. Mm -hmm. Like, you still know who we are. You still know our name. And I'm grateful for all the losses, all the wins. I'm grateful for, like, the people that come into our chat and tell us, like, some of the things that they deal with in life and how much they depend on us just for that extra help or guidance. Looking for Seb for, like, you know, the hilarious comments or, like, <laughs> Lawrence and Lionel with their inspirational quotes and their biblical readings to support, like, people who are really looking for that. That means so much to me. I'm so grateful for all our fans. Like, I, you know, when we first began and we started taking Super Chats, there were sometimes YouTubers who were like, yo, we've never seen something like this from a community. Like, even they, we have double the amount of subs you have or quadruple. They were like, yo, you guys just have a community that resonates with you and doesn't necessarily resonate the same way with me and my community. And I just always thrown that up to, like, the consistent amount of positivity and love that we reinforce. And sometimes I have made mistakes where I've introduced some negativity to the world, right? But ultimately, that's just one pebble in the road. That's just one, you know, bump on the road. But other than that, I just hope people keep sticking with us, bro. And I hope I can still perform to my very best for you guys. So we'll keep doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right on. Yeah. But... Yeah, let's read some more super chats. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to be quick. We gotta get to a chapter, guys. Uh, we got five from PP McGee. It says, "Also, congrats on 100K. Love seeing you guys grow as a Spotify listener and been listening since around day one. Much love and continue to grow." <laughs> Hashtag Magellan's number one. <laughs> <laughs> another. F Thank you so much, PP. Another, another five from Villain says, I'll pass on that Fleet Admiral spot. It's my pirate era. Hashtag enjoying my freedom. And we got a three-week break, Seb. Hashtag bring back the DDT. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it, man. I'll, I promise to work on it. He not. I promise to <laughs> work on it. Another five from Finding Timbo. It says, hey, guys, just wanted to say I appreciate the podcast. It really helps getting through the workday. Also, shout out to Marv. Yeah, man. Shout out to Marv and Brave. Thank you. Thank no, you. Another two from Unknown. It says, congrats on 100K, you guys. Thank you, Unknown. Thank you. Appreciate you commenting this. Thank you. Yes, thank you. 
Another five from Most Hated. It says Yamcha after training with King Kai is strong enough to beat Kaido. You gotta accept it, Seb. But happy 100k subs. Hashtag Larry's bald. Hashtag twins are AI. Hashtag free Marv. <laughs> Marv can speak whatever he wants, yeah, man, bro. But Marv can pull up if he wanted yeah. to. Uh, we got another three month uh, Shichi Bukai membership from Mugiwara Ya Philly. It says shout out to TOPT. On 100K, the sky's the limit. You guys make my Mondays topped on top with the Nakama Fist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. Another five from Connor Cole. It says, with one month prep time, who's triple-double, quadruple, backflip, front flip, super sumo, slamming who? Vegapunk or Batman? Batman. 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 Batman, Batman, Batman. bro. Yeah. I mean... Batman. It's Batman, bro. I feel like technically Vegapunk... I just saw Vegapunk get stabbed through the chest, bro. Yo, but it's it, it's no one, it's not ones, right? And Vegapunk could technically have one of those satellites like learn, like some sort of wild martial arts, right? That dude. man would have just perceived Wait, that was gonna happen. Fighting bro. or dude. mind? I'm sure, <laughs> dude. Dude, I'm gonna show you this right now. Vegapunk knew what what just happened was gonna happen, and he did nothing. Mm. <laughs> like you know, it's point right there. So he had the time. No, listen, man. Shout out to Vegapunk, bro. He knew this was going to come because yeah. he, he, as soon as he looked into the O'Hara's like, reading, he knew this was going to happen. And he didn't protect himself. So, no. Yeah. Batman. Like, Batman would have anything for what's happening right now. But whatever. <laughs> what, like, I give this man so much credit, man. I can't stand it. But whatever. We just choose him over Vegapunk. I'm just saying. We got literal immortal. Let me stop. Let me stop. Anyway. Another five from Unknown it says best streams ever and Larry has had law. Larry has had ah, Larry has and Law has had the best takes. Damn, Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate How that. You feel, bro? <laughs> three, we're gonna get three more and then we'll go into the chapter. Okay. Yeah. Another two from Jesus Reigns Jalen. It says, What state are y'all based out of? Wyoming. <laughs> no, we're, we're from New Jersey. Yeah. We're dirty from New Jersey. Jersey man. Yeah, the dirty Jersey. Another the five dirty. from Wham66. It says, What do you think are the odds that Luffy and Robin are half siblings? Low. This? Luffy and yeah, Robin. this was a theory from a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Just, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of it either. So. Nah, I don't think so. I'm good. All right, another 20 Canadian from our guy Skylance. It says, You are the all. The goats, but you all be taking L's <laughs> from Larry's dragon takes to Lawrence's this is bias towards Admirals to Lionel's glaze glaze no me on Jimbe Sabo old take and Seb thinking Kata Curry's joining Cross Guild <laughs> hashtag Wait, what? White Beard over Roger. Because you said Jimbe over Sabo or something like that at one point. I'm gonna this right now. I haven't been proven wrong about my Admiral takes. Yeah. Oh, you have. Especially, have. especially, have. especially yeah. this chapter. Bro. <laughs> okay. I have yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. okay, Lawrence. You're about have that. Lawrence, you're, you have an incoming yeah. L. Bro, you're, yeah. you're still trying to tell me that Rayleigh B and these dudes, bro? We just got to move Whatever, forward, bro. Okay. Yeah, we we, we going we to gonna, we gonna just move. All right, guys, listen. Uh, if we got time to go to Oda's uh, notes that he made for this week, we will get to it. But first... I want to jump into this chapter. We're almost uh, 40 minutes in. <laughs> Super chats, milestone talk. Thank you. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, left us five stars and a nice comment on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, please do. If you haven't liked the stream, please do. Uh, but other than that, guys, I want to get into this chapter. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. So we have a color spread based on a reader request. It reads in captions at the bottom, the Straw Hats strolling through the deep sea using jellyfish umbrellas. We see the whole gang with Bonnie, Kuma, and Vegapunk joining on the fun. What did you guys have to say about this color spread? And we'll start with Seb. I, I really liked it. I thought it was dope. One, I like when the color spreads have all the Straw Hats there. Yeah. And yes, I'm including Bonnie. Um, I liked it. I really did. Oda has these really cool designs and like thought processes where like it has... Like, these jellyfish look cool as hell. Mm -hmm. And I think it reminded me of one that I really loved from way back where they were looking up. I think, oh, was it jellyfish or something? Some sort of fish? They were in Fishman Island, I think. Or some sort of sea grove or something. I think I remember and what you're talking about. It was about. floating up, and I think, like, Saji had an umbrella or something. I love that one. This one reminded me of that. I low-key didn't even realize Vegapunk was in here until just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> low-key, which is funny. 
Um, but yeah, I thought it was dope. I like the inclusion of Kuma eating the popcorn or, or chips or whatever it is. I think fries. fries. Yeah. Like, Sanji's making everybody fries. Yeah. And like Bonnie's being like a glutton. Mm-hmm. And like Kuma's like looking up and watching her like have friends and live a life yeah. that she hasn't really been able to live outside in the outside world. Like it looks like the sun is beating down. Like she's mm-hmm. able to be outside. Like I just I thought it was dope. Uh, I couldn't tell what Zora was doing. Yeah. But he's grabbing the jellyfish. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. The tail of it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Law. One, this is disgusting. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> I want to see you guys Can right I now. I know they're in about. water, right? Yeah. What? Yeah. His fries is soggy as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> disgusting. You know what reminds me of? Remember in Ra- Invader Zim? Uh, yeah. Where the guy's like, he's eating the french fries in the dishwater? The fries are bad! The fries are delicious! <laughs> that's basically what we're seeing here. It's soggy french fries, and they eating it. That's disgusting to me. I'm not eating they it. They in I'm the sorry. One Piece world, bro. Nah, man. I thought maybe the inside of the bubbles, but nah, they sit on top of jellyfish, so... These fries is soaking wet with seawater. Vega could have made a big giant. Lake. Nah, man. Yo, no, man. No, yo, no. it got sea salt on it though. Hold on. <laughs> if they're in water, Luffy's perfectly fine. You're just wrong, bro. They're not in water. It says there's in the several. Caption. There's in the several. Caption. several there's, it says the deep sea. That's what I'm saying. The caption says in the deep. I'm sea. not gonna lie. This is it's confusing. <laughs> it says maybe in they're sea. in the bubbles. Jimbei swimming. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it looks, no, they're going. Cool. There's several up. devil fruit users not inside of anything. Yeah. I know that's a. And they chilling, I don't bro. know. Yeah, I don't but know it says them. it literally says what? deep strolling through. It looks like one of the Sabao Sabaody Archipelago groves, mm-hmm. like the roots of it. Yeah. So I have no idea what's going on. It looks like the deep sea. I'm confused. Way. Yeah, the yeah. fries are soggy, man. <laughs> they don't look soggy. <laughs> they don't. They number. They they munching on them things, bro. Like they not soggy. <laughs> Yum. Notice right. how the only ones in the casing is Vegapunk himself. Yeah, maybe you don't know how to swim. <laughs> 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 I don't know, bro. All right. There's Anything no else? No. no that's it. All right, Lionel. I, this man wants some French fries. <laughs> <laughs> Polar opposite. The, the French fries Polar are bad. Opposite. Best French fries I ever had. Yeah, so. <laughs> French fries are delicious. Yeah. But honestly, I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't really have anything. Honestly, I was just trying to figure out why Nami has that reaction. What's her reaction? Because she just ate a whole thing by no, herself honestly, and is now eating in the house. She probably like, yo, Bonnie, you wash your hands? <laughs> honestly, no, look. She just really? ate that whole, like... Fry basket, and now she's nah. eating the second one, which Honestly, is Nami's. I was thinking again, it's whatever, but I was thinking that she was looking at Sanji and Nami. I mean, Sanji and Robin hanging off. Shut up, bro. And she's Damn, the, type of way. the jealousy. Yo, I was like, look at them, they vibing right now. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, I didn't that's what that. I got. I, I like, didn't see that. That's kind of wild. Right? Because she, she has that little brush going on, too. Uh-huh. Like, she's yeah, like, her face is a little red. Yeah, I was like, oh, He no snap. longer wants me now. <laughs> <laughs> But that's like such a no. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> it's like he he doesn't want me no more, so now I want him. <laughs> uh, that's all man. Sanji needed to do. Yeah, no man. interest. Yo, but yeah, but I don't have. That's what I just peeped up, but that was the only thing I had. Yeah. Uh, for me, I felt like it was like Kuma, uh, Kuma's foreshadow of seeing the straw hats off. Mm. Um, Akad, uh, just looking away. I've always thought like. How can they truly get away? I always thought like maybe Kuma would send them all away and he would look at Bonnie being on the ship and enjoying herself and stuff like that. Uh, he might be sending them to Elbaf. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be the most... Po- I-, I couldn't mm-hmm. find a panel that Kuma went to Elbaf, but I would suspect that he would know where Elbaf was mm-hmm. based on how many islands that he went mm-hmm. to and he- yeah. his ability allows him to travel, right? Uh, Vegapunk probably giving Frankie some tech in the future. Because Frankie's the only one not showing face, which was very interesting. Uh, if they are escaping, Jinbei might be left behind if he has to go in the water. And he's not on the ship with, like, the rest of the Straw Hats. And Kuma sends them away. So that means he'll probably swim to Elbeth if he has the log poles or something like that. Because um, he's in the water. He's the only one swimming. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Zoro ha- probably having his moment with Kuma again. He's the closest one to Kuma mm. and the color spread, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I know Luffy's always chewing a lot and, <laughs> and eating a lot of food. Uh, maybe it's a foreshadow for him bi- biting off more than he could chew. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. So I was just looking for random things and I felt like, mm. 
you know. I didn't have one other thing I wanted to comment on. That uh, Shonen weekly Jump? Shonen Jump yeah, cover with the covers. Monster Trio, oh, bro, yeah. that was tough. Yeah. Shout out to Jarhead, Blinky Agenda, in full effect. I thought that was fire, bro. Yeah. I really did. Yeah, real talk, though. Replace Sanji with Jinbei. Chill out, chill out. <laughs> in, this, in, this, in this specific like yeah, setup, this is Sanji's up. lane, bro. I liked it because right, they looked right, more like pirates. Yeah. yeah. They're very pirates. Actually, about me the three musketeers a little bit. Listen, man. Yeah. It's not the big three, bro. It's big me. It's big me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, yeah. Guys, we're, we're going to go straight into the first topic of the chapter, okay? And we'll get to the super chats after. Uh, if you could like the video, please do. Um, I know there's super chats. I seen Mugiwata, no Goofy. He super chatted our boy. If you haven't watched our our uh, stream with him, he was a great time to be with. Uh, great collab. Uh, really want to make more content with that guy. Pause. So um, <laughs> we're gonna get into this. Bear with me, all right? There's a lot of talking because a lot happened in this chapter overall. So uh, if I'm talking for a little bit, just be patient. Uh, I'm just trying to get through the part of the chapter that we need to, all right? So, this chapter starts with the title, Sun Shield, and the opening panels show St. Marcus Mars in his Itsumare Zoan form breaking through the egghead barrier. He spots Jinbei as he enters the barrier, and Jinbei notices the preposterous hockey em emanating from St. Marcus Mars. Jinbei is uncertain about what he is witnessing, but Zoro tells him that this fight, his fight with Luchi is not over. Meanwhile, Sanji calls Jinbei to ask if he has Zoro yet, to which Jinbei responds that he will get him now. Jinbei then performs a Fishman Karate move and apologizes to Luchi before using his 5,000 brick chop to knock Luchi to his knees, causing him to leave his awakened state. St. Mars arrives and axes Luffy, where York is. Uh, I said Luffy. Axes Luchi where York is, but Luchi is in disbelief at what he's seeing. Jinbei and Zoro run off. Zoro looks back and is unsure of what he's looking at too. St. Mars lands in front of Luchi. Luchi reports that York is still tied up in the command room. Five other Straw Hats, along with two Vegapunks, are preparing to leave from the back of the Labo phase. And there are 85 Cypherpole agents and four Seraphim in the basement of the lab. Vegapunk's message will be sent out in six minutes. St. Mars congratulates Luchi and flies away. But Luchi pleads with him to spare Kaku's life in the command room, which has been injured. St. Mars responds that it may be, not be possible, as one does not attempt to step on insects. It simply happens. So, with that being said, Law, what did you think about this first part of the chapter? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh yeah, honestly, um, I was the whole time when we saw when I was watching this right and reading the last chapter too with it. I was thinking in my head when we first saw Zoro cut Rob, right? I was thinking in my head, does he look like he's gonna like the fight is over to me, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, he's still standing, but they just ended it where like you know he just he just you just see the face of him standing after he just got cut. But honestly, I give credit to Rob for still like because. That wound on him looks, it looks deep, and it looks yeah. like he got messed up. But that's what I give the credit to the awakened Zoan. How they talk about how strong and durable they are, but also how fast they're able to recover. The fact that he's able to stand up shows like how, even like in this form, even he's not even a mythical. How durable the Zohan fruits really are, especially when they're awakened. The mean part is when they're awakened, they can withstand a lot, which is makes them like really hard to beat or take down, right? And it seems like too going back real quick to the the Garase member. It seems like they could almost because like the explosion here, how dangerous it was and everything. I think they could almost just regenerate from like just about anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if his whole body got like messed up through the explosion. Like you know, it went to like like it's almost like you remember Dragon Ball Z kid, how you could just leave just like a piece of cell from his whatever his or uh, his body mm -hmm. and he can regenerate from that to the point where like even the steam <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was so ridiculous that even when they they um uh, took out kid and uh they you destroyed kid boo. yeah kid boo and they destroyed all his like cells or whatever just the steam from that he was able to regenerate from it you know it's like almost to the level where we're seeing the girls like they able to generate from almost anything it's just like what it's going to take to really take them down i have a thoughts on that till later on but uh, I'll save that for the end of it. And um, 
Yeah. And honestly, uh, it shows the urgency of them trying to get out of here. And I'm surprised how he, the Garcia member just kind of seeing them flee, didn't even attack them. Yeah. He just was like, I need a report because I guess the main issue, he wants to recover York and destroy uh, the whole uh, Lapo Stadium. Well, Lapo phase. Yeah, Lapo phase with, um, with everything in it. As in, like, the message and everything else. Because they said we need to stop that thing. So it looked like all the grocery kind of came with an assignment. You take out, uh, you know, we saw the other one, Pacifistas, him take, yeah, and I'm going after York and the um, the Lapo phase. So um, I don't really have much here. Uh, okay. But, yeah. All right. Uh, Seb? All right. So, one, that big bird looked crazy, bro. Like, it just really does. Yeah. Like, like Lucci's reaction is, like, the real <laughs> – like, a lot of wild and spectacular stuff happens in, in One Piece where, like, you shouldn't be shocked by things. Mm -hmm. But, like, Lucci's reaction show is, like, yo, you can still be genuinely shocked by, like, like what is that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even Jimbe, his reaction was, like, yo, what, what is that? <laughs> like, what, what's happening right now? And then we commented on it last week. Yo, they use hockey. Yeah. Like, it's hockey, bro. They're mm -hmm. using hockey to the point where Jimbe's noticing it and saying it's, like, preposterous. Like, it's something... More than hockey, but it's hockey, you know. Um, Lucci still standing. I thought that was I thought it was dope. Like I thought it would looked really cool. Like Lawrence mentioned the scar. I remembered he has the the, the cannon fire on his back yeah. still. He gonna look crazy. <laughs> like, his body gonna look crazy, man. After all this, um, and I respected it. Like I know I know I've downplayed Lucci on this podcast. I have. <laughs> he he did. Better than I anticipated that he would be able to do, and I'm happy that he was there. Again, my issue was more with Kaku than than Lucci as far as the awakening goes. But I, I thought it was I thought it was cool. Like you see in anime where they have like uh, guys or people have these like epic moments where they get hit with stuff but they stay standing because their will won't allow them to fall. Like he had one of those moments, mm -hmm. and it was versus the main character. It was versus Zoro, and like Zoro even had respect. Like yo, he's still standing. Um, I did like, like, Jinbei got so distracted by all this stuff. Like, Sanji was like, yo, did you grab him? <laughs> like, he's like, oh, yeah, you, are you right? I thought that was funny. Um, Zoro still trying to fight it was funny to me, too. And then, like, Jinbei just said, my apologies, like, I'm going to throw the, the fist. Like, he's like, yeah, I can casually do this kind of stuff, though. Like, mm -hmm. I can throw 5,000 brick things out and, like, we could, like, we could escape, no problem. I thought that was cool. Um... But yeah, Lucci's reaction, there was a conversation a couple weeks ago about whether Lucci would ever cower in fear. And I was like, I don't know, I haven't, that, I haven't seen that element of his character yet. Not like, yet. he's not that kind of person. And literally, <laughs> like, I wouldn't necessarily say it's cowering in fear right now, but it's, it's in, like, pure shock and awe or whatever. And, like, he's clearly scared. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't say he's not scared by this moment. Um, I also like that the guru says... Like, what's his name again? It's Umade. It's Umade. It's, uh, St. Marcus Mars. Saint, yeah, Mars. I like that Mars' uh, voice is different. I think mm -hmm. all the Garusei's voices seem to be different. Um, it's probably really harrowing or really, really, really deep and, and, like, crazy. The way Kaido's was in a yeah. dragon form. Yeah. So, like, I love the status report that Lucci gave. Like, he was able to give a really good report of what... what it really was. was. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. He, he gave every... He gave it all up, bro. He like, gave how everything. do you know all this? <laughs> 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 you were in prison. Like, <laughs> I, I also, like... I did like that he was like, yo, my partner is still back down there. Yeah. Because we, Lucci's never really seemed to care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's always had, he's been fond of Kaku and wanted him to get stronger, eat this devil fruit, train, get stronger, etc. But it's like, ultimately, he does look at him as a partner. Yeah. yeah. Right? Not just like an underling, not just, this, this is, this is his Zoro to him. You know what I mean? Like, this is my guy. And like, he asked him for him to be spared. And then... Mars gave the coldest line, bro. It said, it doesn't matter if we step on insects, bro. It just happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't account for that dude's life. Yeah. For you. I appreciate you, though. <laughs> I appreciate the information. Job but well done. I'm out. I, I'll see about your boy, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, it's getting wild on that head, y'all. I liked it. I like that start. To the All chapter. right. Lionel? I actually found it a little interesting where when we see um, him crash to the building, you see hockey or black lining coming out of the explosion. Yeah. And I wonder if it's like, because I always, like, you know, he's, you know, they, they're healing themselves, they're regenerating. But this was like, it was more of an attack than let himself just get blown up. 
Because yeah. if he can just regenerate, why is hockey leaking out during this moment? Mm. We're gonna again. It could be like you're just leaking out hockey in general. But like, first, I just want to know if this was a defensive measure or it was an attack or it just his hockey just leaked out coincidentally. I don't know. But like, I just found it interesting that it was leaking out during the explosion. Unless that was just part of the explosion. It had nothing to do with hockey. But like, because I can't say every time we see black lightning, it's hockey. But considering who we're dealing with right now, we're seeing these people is most likely hockey. I was actually going to touch on a little bit when you talk about Rob Lushi looking scared a little bit. But I was thinking of, did he look scared or he got more surprised? Because mm-hmm. Jim made the chop that all it was smoke. Then Rob Lushi looks up and he sees a big, when the smoke clears, a big giant bird is in your face. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, <laughs> it's like you didn't expect, you didn't expect him to be right there. You when did Jim May learn how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, is this Jim May? <laughs> but like, but I just noticed that. Um, but, but then I, said, I did think the report was cool. Um, like you know, just Rob Lucci just being the good soldier he always is. But I also like, and this always, I always think like, why are people willing to follow the Gorse or follow the world government, knowing how they treat you, how they view you? You're a loyal soldier fulfilling your mission, and you ask them one request, and his response is, most likely it's not gonna happen. Like he's like pretty much you and your partner are insects. Lucci's like, like, I love when he talks to me. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> like, like, I love like, when he dominates me. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. You're going to follow him. Say like, it again. Yeah. Like, Gives me rock. I'm like, I'm like, that is, <laughs> but I find it crazy. You have people who are like, because like, it's just like, again, it's like Dolphin all over again. Like, pretty much Dolphin was asking, like, you know, people pass for me and like, they're getting treated by. Like you're an insect, and they're there. Oh, we're do for me. We're go, go world government like loyalty. When you have people like you know, like Luffy. Now I'm going to sacrifice my life for you. Like mm-hmm. I'm willing to sacrifice my body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you have you not ever experienced that? Like someone's willing to go that much for you. Like and it's just, it, honestly, it's kind of sad. It's no, like, bro, they haven't. Yo, it's Lu- crazy. Luffy's don't exist, bro. Yo, I'm looking. <laughs> I was just saying, this is crazy. I'm just mostly like you may not experience that, but like. Try to find that at least. Why be loyal to that a government that you really don't care? You're replaceable. You're insects. We can find another Rabuchi. We can find another Kaku. You guys mean nothing. You're getting a good job on your report. That's it. You done your job. You do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Like it's just like yo, it's just crazy. And you're <laughs> you're loyal to that. I'm just like this is crazy. Yeah, you really like, call Luffy a, 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 Luchi a, a sub, bro? Yo, he is, bro. <laughs> nah, All that, nah, 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 you don't nah. understand. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What? What happened? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they call it the bottom luch. <laughs> I don't want to ask him. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> but it's just crazy, though. Yeah. But I'm done here. All right. Uh, for me. All right. So I have something interesting. In chapter 1055, when Shanks sent his hockey across Wano, mm-hmm. uh, Jim Bay commented that. Uh, that was some monstrous hockey uh, being thrown around, though, right? That was the first time he's actually commented on somebody else's hockey. Mm-hmm. In Chapter 1111, when St. Marcus Mars appears in his Itsumade Zoan form, Jimbei comments, what is that thing? Such preposterous hockey. And then it made me think, like, did Jim- Jimbei say anything like this about anyone else ever? And the only moment I could really think about was, like, when he probably looked at Big Mom. And she did her Conqueror's Hockey moment and asked him life or uh, stay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think it was it was 868, chapter 868, when Brooke broke Mother Caramel's pitcher, Big Mom went into her turmoil. She released Conqueror's Hockey to the point that when people shot missiles at her, they exploded before they touched her. Caesar said that she created incredible wind pressure, right? So I started to say to myself, okay, Jimbei on... Probably two occasions versus somebody with extreme hockey. Big Mom, Shanks, and now he's looking at somebody else who kind of, he says kind of the same type of effect about their hockey. Mm-hmm. So I think most of the Gorosei have Conqueror's hockey. We're going to talk about one later in the chapter, right? So when we've seen Shanks break Whitebeard's ship with his hockey, it made me go back to the Itsumade where St. Mars went to the barrier and we saw the hockey coming off the barrier. I think he probably, or the Gorose, probably used their conqueror's hockey in a way that 
nobody in the show does except for Shanks that we know of. Mm. They're able to break inanimate objects. They're probably able to stop people from moving. They're just able to shoot it from their eyes. I think there's just certain ways that Conqueror's Hockey has been very um, vague to us. But now we're seeing it fleshed out. Where like, this is what separates the tops from the bottoms, right? This is what separates like the Rogers, the Shanks, the me. Uh, I was about to say Miyok, the uh, <laughs> the Sengoku's, the Garps, like all these guys that have Conqueror's Hockey. We're gonna start seeing. All right, you have Conqueror's Hockey. Okay, but what do you specialize in specifically with your Conqueror's Hockey? With Shanks. He's known as like an observation killer. That might be his specialty with Conqueror's Hockey. Whereas other people, like we're seeing with the girls say, can probably use their hockeys in different ways. So it's it's gonna start showing like maybe the people who have Conqueror's Hockeys in the show, this is the reason why there's one out of a million that has it. And if they do have it, they're probably even in a smaller percentage of people who can actually take it to its fullest capability. Or you can develop your own type of Conqueror's Hockey where you're allowed to do something that none of the other guys are capable of doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it and I was like, okay, so like if I was to say like Big Moms, like what would Big Moms be? Because she, she has Conqueror's Hockey and I was like, she showed hers off a little bit and hers was like a force field. Like you couldn't shoot her with anything. Mm -hmm. She stopped it. We have never seen anybody in the show do what Big Mom has done. Mm -hmm. Maybe her specialty in Conqueror's Hockey was she she mixed armament with Conqueror's Hockey and created a force field where you can't touch her. That's crazy to me. And and it explains Shanks's with his observation killing. So he probably uses observation and Conqueror's Hockey together to cancel yours out. You remember I brought up I, I brought up the Mihawk one during my reaction, but Mihawk's apparently Mihawk is known for being able to deflect any attack. That's probably a different type of armament with Conqueror's hockey moment mm -hmm. as well, and it just makes me think like, yo, what are, what are, what is Rogers? What is mm -hmm. Whitebeards? What were they capable of besides not touching each other? Because that's probably just like regular, you know, that yeah. everybody can do that has Conqueror's mm -hmm. and armament. But it's like, okay, what are their specialties though? Mm -hmm. And I think we're starting to see that with the Gorose. Because we actually see a Gorose do something that's very similar to what Big Mom is doing yeah. later on in a chapter. Well mentioned. Yeah. So I thought that was really, really dope. Yo, I went back to that, that chapter. And I know I don't know if he had it in already, but Jimmy was pretty chill about the Big Mom stuff. Exactly. He did the earplug thing, but like he was chilling. Yeah. <laughs> he was chill. But he also knows her, right? Like yeah. he's probably seen it before. Yeah, because the fact he's so, doing the earplugs already yeah. shows that he probably experienced it already. Yeah. He's like, I already know um, what to do. Like, yeah. Um what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh Luchi being knocked out of his awakened form by Jimbei. For me, I know a lot of people are like, yo, Jimbei over Zoro. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like Jimbei's trying to take one above Zoro. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. I look at that moment the same way Jimbei punched Big Mom off the ship when she was weakened. Off the straw hat ship during the uh when they were running away from her. Right? Like I never gave Jimbei full credit for punching Big Mom off the ship like that. Yeah. So I look at it in the same way where like Luchi's hurt, obviously standing by his willpower alone, and he has to take that shot. It's not like he knocked him out the form specifically. It was like, nah, like if Zoro probably hit him with another attack, it was over. Yeah. Yeah. And also to me, well, how I even read it, I could be wrong, but I read it that he'd even hit Rob yeah, directly with it. He attacked like the ground to, to make create it away a separation. To yeah, yeah, to make an escape. Yeah. And the force from it, because also we know how Fishman Karate works. It kind of is, it very, you know, it spreads out kind of like a shotgun. How it goes, it has a wide range. And then with that force, it like because Rob Ushi, he blocked from like the debris and other stuff. And all of that is like, all right, they, he kind of, I can't attack anymore. I can't fight anymore. I was trying to, but mm -hmm. they're gone. So I'm, I'm letting myself, my guard down. Yeah. You know? uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit two more points uh, that I have. I'm so sorry. I always have thoughts, guys. All right. Uh, I think that St. Mars goes to the basement to um, retrieve the Seraphims after he destroys the monitor. Mm -hmm. I think the Seraphims are going to be there, but he's going to look at the Cypherpole agents and leave them there to pass away. I think yeah. that's what's going to happen. I actually forgot about the Seraphims in honest. Yeah, like the <laughs> Seraphims are still valuable. Yeah. They, they still have to listen. And they listen to them over anyone. Unless Bonnie has, like, secret control of them. Yeah. Well, he said oh. maybe just the one. Yeah, I think only maybe just the one. Because it was any of the one that anything that resembles like Kuma would never attack her. Yeah. So that one specifically, S Bear should be 
are good to go. For mm-hmm. Bonnie, anyway. Mm-hmm. But the other ones? Probably. Mm. Uh, so I, I have one theory. And it's about Zoe and Devil Fruits. Um, so I, I was thinking, like, why why are people are so, like, freaked out about this type of hockey that the Gorosei have? Like, what makes them so terrifying when I know Lucci has probably seen things that are much worse than them, specifically? I think it's just the hockey aspect of what they are and what they are emitting, right? So I said, okay, uh, maybe they're so different because their zone abilities have their own hockeys. Like, what what would you think if Devil Fruits had their own hockeys? I brought this up before yeah. in my Blackbeard theory about <clears throat> mm-hmm. Blackbeard not having hockey, but he'll get it from, like... You can draw the, the hockey from the existing Devil Fruit users or... or the previous, the previous Devil Fruit. users. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is... Maybe it's a little different with Zoan forms, right? Uh, Zoan uh, Devil Fruits, because we know that Zoan Devil Fruits have a will of their own. It was stated by the Gorosei, actually, about Luffy's Devil Fruit. So <coughs> my question is, is it possible that because they have wills of their own, the Devil Fruits, that the user, if the user doesn't even have hockey or the user doesn't have Conqueror's hockey, they can take the will from the Devil Fruit and use it as their own. So what everybody's feeling is like, yo, this this type of hockey is one foreign, but two, it might be the Devil Fruits hockey, where like the Itsumade, since it's like a, a mythical or whatever, it's producing that effect of of Conqueror's hockey, where like these guys can tap into it further than any Zoan form we've ever seen, right? Because I wouldn't say that Luchi's Devil Fruit probably has the hockey that these guys are admitting because it's not mythical. It's like a regular type of zone fruit. So I'm thinking like, yo, what if it's possible? What if you can borrow hockey from your devil fruit? What if you could borrow Conqueror's hockey from your devil fruit? Ain't Luffy doing that? I know, I think it's Luffy's hot hockey. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a possibility that Luffy might be tapping in also into Nika's yeah. hockey, mm-hmm. like doubling it up. I yeah, just, what if it's like doubling up? Yeah, you could double be, down on your hockey. Yeah. I will I say this, mm-hmm. it's interesting that you're bringing that up. And I was, just, and to me, it gets further your point, where it's possible, because Rayleigh, sa- Rayleigh said to Luffy that hockey's in all living things, right? So that would technically include animals. Yeah. You know, yeah. obviously, animals are not going to maybe have a lack of conscious of using it. They're going to mostly go on instincts and their raw primal, you know, way of doing things. But they could, it could probably unknowingly tap into their hockey. Like they have all living things. So if the Zoans represent, you know, mostly are or are animals. Technically, hockey would be them to do too. Uh, so, fruits, kind of, plants are kind of like living things too, but it's, I feel like it's different because they not, may not have a will. Where animals could have a, a kind of like a will, yeah. you know? And zones are based off animals, even mythical. So, they could have hockey, <laughs> but, like, you know, technically to that. Because the, the minks show, like, because they're all animals and they have it. But also, That's the, racist, bro. What, the minks? <laughs> no, <laughs> the minks are legit. I was going to bring up, but it also matters the intelligent mind. Because all minks are not the regular animals we see in yeah. regular life. They actually yeah. have a thought process and, like, you know, intelligence. We don't know if all those mythical creatures actually have intelligence. Peter, after you, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I can't say Peter, after you. Bruh. But, but... Here's the thing, too, right? It made me think about the Impel Down guards mm-hmm. that got taken over by their Devil Fruits. Their, mm-hmm. Those those guys are not running on their emotions or their wills. It's running on the Devil Fruits' will. Mm-hmm. So that proves already that 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 that, that user yeah. has lost everything to the Devil, Zone yeah. Devil Fruits. But it's still acting. But it's yeah. still acting. Yeah. So it has, And take orders, too. Mm-hmm. And so it like, takes orders, too. Mm-hmm. So it makes me think, if you have Conqueror's Hockey and you run into a Devil Fruit that has a will... And the will is very strong, where it might resemble Conqueror's Hockey too. Then it's like, yo, I can dive so deep into this Devil Fruit that I am able to not only use my Conqueror's Hockey, but I could probably use the will of the Zoan Devil Fruit too and mix it together. Therefore, it's like amplified. Mm-hmm. I might be tripping, but that this chapter had me thinking like Lucci could be a Conqueror, which is crazy. Yeah. But like th- what you're saying right now makes me think that even more. You know what I mean? No. Um, I don't think Luchi's a conqueror, but it had me thinking at first. He has a strong will. He has yeah. a strong will. He has a very strong will, yeah. but I don't think he's a conqueror. He's yeah, conqueror. I don't think so. Yeah, but I think the, the, the stronger your devil fruit, the more likely you have to have conqueror's hockey or, like, you know, like, mm-hmm. I've always wondered, like, why has Marco never, like, gone further into his devil fruit powers? 
Like, we've always seen him touch the base of it, I feel like, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like, if he had conquered his high, would we have seen more of Marco utilizing that mythical devil fruit? Like, would he have had the, the white scarf around him and right. then he's just able to regenerate from anything, but also just, like, do insane feats? Mm-hmm. Like, anything you pass by is just regenerated? Yeah, yeah but, like, since he doesn't have it, mm-hmm. he's never been able to exploit his devil fruit to its fullest capabilities because he just knew, like, yo, this would take me over. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. And the girls say, like, yo, I've had this forever. We've been doing this forever. I got what I have. Like, I can utilize my devil fruit so differently. Yeah. So imagine somebody with Shanks' Conqueror's Hockey. With a Zoan fruit. With a mythical <laughs> Zoan fruit. And is able to utilize both completely. Would be wild. Yeah. My bad. I was talking for a while. No, nah, like, you was, that was listen, crazy. There was a lot of, like, interesting stuff yeah. he was bringing out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you crazy. You had me calling Lucci a conqueror, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you got that. Yeah, I don't know how you got that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's read some super chats, yep. and then we're going to go back into the chapter. Right, uh, another five from Fiji. It says, I've been watching and listening uh, songs the beginning since the beginning. Larry... Are we cool now? Ever since you said the Hokage beat the Yonko, mm. W take, love the content. <laughs> That's real. Thank That's you. Real. We got another tw- uh, two from Nicholas Cortez. It says, y'all think Brooks related to Aokiji with the Afro slash hair. Um, that's one of those things I always would like to be true. I don't want it to be like developed or an important plot point. Yeah. I think it would be a dope little extra nugget. But I don't want it to be like, oh my god, that's my dad. Also, that's kind of racist. Yeah, because Usopp legit has like a jury. No, and there's black. There, there's too. also the ice theme, the age difference. Like, there's 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 more to it than just they black. And they tall. And they got froze. Yeah, they tall, bro. That's wild. <laughs> I'll keep you way taller though. But you think LeBron dad is six nine, bro? Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> probably. We got another two month membership to Yako status from Roy Stokes. Enjoy the emojis that come with being a Yako. That's our highest tier of membership, y'all. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. Another two from Goatman. It says, bring back the DDT or run that jacket set. <laughs> Hashtag DDT gang. Yo, somebody said I look like Wednesday Adams. Another <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five Canadian so from Glabdar. It says, TOPT, what's good? I'm, I am watching this while working. On my finals at university, and catching the live is always a great break. Much love. Hashtag poutine is not trash. <laughs> I gotta try it again, man. Thank I, you. I gotta try it again. But good luck on your finals. Yeah, yeah it's good luck, bro. So, another ten from Mama Kid. It says, "What more do you guys need to see from Luffy strength-wise for him to overcome Emu and the Garse? Does he need to just focus on what he has in his bag already, or learn something new?" Um, he needs to last. Pause. It's true though. Yeah, like, yeah. But his stamina. My mind goes to to Dragon Ball Z, where who it was Go, Goku and Gohan. They were, oh, yeah. they stayed in Super Saiyan for like days on end in the hyperbolic time chamber, so they could feel comfortable just being in that mode. I need Luffy to be able to be in Gear Five for like a full day. Yeah, at least. Like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like yo, the people fight for days in yeah. One Piece. Literally, they fight for days. If he yeah. can last in Gear Five for days, mm. who could who could truly beat him? Yeah. If he's in gear five for multiple days on end. Yeah. That's what I need to see. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, another two from Face God Twenty One. It says, Do you think Zabak had a devil fruit? Looking at the Barra Barra. Um the Barra Barra is the what? The buggy's fruit? No, is it no It's bar, Buggy's fruit, right? I gotta search it out. I think it's Buggy's fruit. I hope not. Um If Zeph no, <laughs> He no Zabek. Rocks. Rocks. Oh. Um I'm fine with him yeah, having one. I would. I I know. I I like the whole rocks was a buggy figure thing. I thought it was. It's funny. It's not. I wouldn't <laughs> actually enjoy it if it was a like. Like he could be a buggy one. person and not have a fruit. Like for instance, Luffy and Roger are similar. Roger doesn't have a fruit. So yeah. like, white beard ain't say nothing about rocks. I just yeah. want him to be straight hands, bro. That's it. No, it'd be dope if, uh, if Rox doesn't have a fruit. I would yeah, actually love yeah. it. I think we'd be better. Yeah. I think he uses a sword, though, but yeah. Um, Straight, yeah, yeah. yeah. He definitely, he showed to use a sword. Uh, yeah. No. I like cool, interesting devil fruits, bro. Bring more of them. So more you, and more and more of Crazy Hawks devil fruits, bro. We got the hands, guys. Right? No? I right, whatever. We got another. Nine New Zealand dollars from TDOT. It says, Dragon equals Rock Sun. Luffy is all the best parts of Garp and Dragon. Won't give up on his dream. But still w- willing to side for his, slide for his friends. Hashtag love Larry. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Appreciate it. Aww. Yeah, I can see that. Luffy that got the so best sweet. parts. But just not the brains from any of them, though. You know? mm-hmm. I mean, we don't know how intelligent Rox is, but... Rox? You said dragon. You said dragon is Rox's son. Yeah, they're oh. saying that. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's a common theory out there now. I but, mean, but they kind of confirmed this. Garb kind of said... Dragon is my son. I mean, unless he's talking about still talking about through marriage, but Garb didn't state that when he was talking to Aokiji, remember? In mm-hmm. the back, he was getting upset that yeah. um, Dragon joined the revolutionary. Yeah. I mean, people have adoptive sons all the time, bro. <laughs> we got another that. five Canadian from Skylands. It says, Larry and all of you are an inspiration. Thank y'all. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that. Uh, another uh, three month, thirteen month membership to Nakama Status from Firearms with a uh, couple roses. It says flowers for all of y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Firearms. Firearms. Thank you. Also, Appreciate Firearms, it. just to go ahead a little bit. Firearms gifted ten memberships. Ah. Uh, thank you so much, Firearms. Appreciate you, bro. If you guys, I, I'm pretty sure you guys were throwing W's in the chat for that. So thank you so much, thank to you. Firearms. Thank sure. you. Appreciate that. Another five from John Gibbs. It says, I'm sitting here grinning because I finally caught up with you guys. I've been listening since day one. Hashtag chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, 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 chocolate. He said like, he caught up. Like, yeah. like SpongeBob. Like the, the chocolate. Yeah, guy. yeah. <laughs> Another five from Hunch and Dehose. It says, Udon added 30 minutes to our 12-hour shift, but we keep pushing. Congrats to the 100K. Hashtag Lucci is... Lucci's still up, Larry. Hashtag buggy gang. Hashtag thank you topped 100K. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. That. Appreciate you, bro. Another 20 from G Uzoro. It says, yo, love from Guam. Big ups for the 100K. Hashtag bigger than life. Hashtag 834 AM. Jeez. <laughs> thank you to Guam. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Guam. That's, wow. yeah. that's a new one, I think. I yeah, yeah. Another... Five from Kremit. It says, what up, gang? Another month of dope content. Hashtag T-O-P-T. Thank you, Kremit. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Another five from Luis Lopez. It says, congratulations on 100K. Hawk versus Sokka both have a black blade. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> another, <laughs> another five from, uh, I want to say 300. And it says, this is my first time live stream and super chat don't really know what to say but love the podcast and keep up the awesome work thank you thank you thank you appreciate you man 300 another five from luffy length pause congrats to y'all on 100k but the one piece downplay has got to stop this verse gets nowhere near enough credit for how absolutely broken it is we will get into scaling luffy in a little bit (laughs) yeah we will another five from Magic Hex it says what do you think of the fact Vega can teleport to the ship and didn't when injured he can he told the, well he's said, teleported before he like goes oh yeah he did he did that with the yeah. I yeah. forgot and for some he reason he that. just couldn't when he I don't was about to get stabbed maybe he can only do it in certain areas of the lab I don't think he could control it because then he get like stuck and like he need Luffy to help him get out of yeah, there I thought it was like a like an experiment that he was trying to I mean finish. regardless Shouldn't dead if your life is in danger. No, but if he, if we don't know that he can do it to the ship. Like yeah. if he can do the it to other levels of the know, lab. Like yeah. why isn't he doing? It? That's the point. It's like I was yeah. just testing stuff out. I'm assuming he uses a machine yeah. to do this. Thing. Uh, I know this is going ahead a little bit. We got 50 gifted subs <laughs> from our boy. The man, Stradi. Thank you so hey, much, Strad. To everybody that's Jesus. receiving memberships as we speak, please. Do your generosity and give Strahd the biggest knock on my fist. Thank you so much, Strahd. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thank you, Strahd. Enjoy the emojis that come yeah. with being knock y'all. They're fun. We got another 10 from Kirby. It says, Guts solos Midhawk 1v1. <laughs> it's a fair fight because neither of them have conquered hockey. Psych, Guts definitely has conquered hockey. Hashtag 100K boys. Hashtag Big Unk Seb looking fresh. Thank you. <laughs> you can't even call it Big Unk now. Mm. Hey, man. 
I'm grown. Yeah. <laughs> we got another uh, Yonko subscription from Left Lane John Wayne. Enjoy yeah. the emojis that come with Yonko. You guys are crazy, bro. Memberships Swamp. are going wild. Yeah, memberships you. are going wild. Welcome. And another 10 from our guy Mookie Water No Goofy. It yes. says, hey, 100K. Let's go, boys. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you, Mookie. Thank you. Please, Appreciate you, brother. Please, y'all, Thank go you. follow and subscribe uh, Mookie Water No Goofy on YouTube. He's he just hilarious. dropped his uh, uh, G8 filler. It's, yeah. Yeah. Video. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was pretty funny. I gotta tap in. Another nine month Nakama status from JD McFly says, Well, honey, K, let's effing go, boys. We skyrocketing to a milli like <laughs> a nail to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Another uh, 10 from Shadow Walker. It says, Best One Piece content creators. Quick question Five Elders versus the original Yonko. Gotta go, Yonko. Gotta go, Yonko for now. I will go, Yonko for now. Yeah, I go, Yonko for now. Yes. Yeah, but now. if they really are immortal, <laughs> we'll get to that later. But wait, is it the five elders versus the four? Yonko? The original Yonko. Yeah. The original Yonko. That's our number, though. The original. <laughs> we got prime white beard in the original Yonko. Huh? He's or, old. Or, even if he, even if you have slightly older white beard. In the, like Lionel, make older. a pick, bro. He's 72 years make old. Make okay, a Lionel. pick. Who you Shanks picking? Became, no, Shanks became a Yonko six years ago, right? So go with six years ago white beard. Six years ago from whatever timeline, that white beard, plus Kaido, plus Big Mom, plus Shanks, versus these five people we've seen fight two times, bro. See, no, I want to say Yonko, but since y'all said the elders, I got, I'm against them, and you're picking the Yonko, I might pick the elders. Okay. Just to be an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you're so petty. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a poll later. <laughs> we got another 10 euros from Sam Steffens. It says, which Marvel villain are you putting in one piece? I'm picking Mag Magneto so he can show kids how to actually <laughs> use magnetism. <laughs> Big fan of the pod. Hashtag One Piece Book Club. Uh, uh, Storm. Uh, mm. I think Storm would be good. Who's villain Storm? specifically? Oh. Mm -hmm. Doom. Oh, villains. Yeah, it said Doom. Oh. Yeah. It said villain, yeah. Mr. Mr. Sinister. Oh, wow. Because he plays with g people's genetics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got that already, though. Kind of, but not yeah. in the evil aspect. Mm. So, this is like in any verse? Any villain in any verse? No, it, it said, said Marvel. Marvel villains. Oh, Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going Dr. Sure. Doom. Dr. Doom. Yeah. Um, Dr. Marvel. Doom would be cool. Um, Thanos. Mm. Thanos, yeah. You? See, I was gonna say I don't want to say it, but I was gonna say Thanos, but I have to change it now. Twin it. Yo, do Ultron. Would he be? Yeah, Ultron would be Ultron crazy. Would be crazy yeah. Especially the like, like comic book version of Ultron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ultron, would be, Ultron crazy. would be crazy, bro. I think if I I say Ultron for now until if I can't think of another one, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'll say Ultron. All right, uh, guys, we're gonna do like two more super chats, and then we're gonna get back into the chapter, okay? Because we're gonna have like an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, and we still got like three more ports to go. Yeah. Uh, we got another five from Kyron Calhoun. It says, Y'all are the goats. Any top tier beating 1v1 if he's using his Del Fruit? Plot demands he uses Del Fruit and hockey, but making this entire arc mid holding back. Mm. Wow. Okay. Thank you for the goat aspect, Thank though. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Appreciate that. Got a point, no, no point. We got another five from Muhammad Lear. It says, "Yo, TOPT, Netflix has a partnership with Nickelodeon and the illegal stuff. Drake Bell is happening at Netflix. By the way, law Netflix changing Naruto movie into ruins." Yeah, I, I just don't know enough about that. Yeah, I don't know, I know enough either. I do to know be honest. some wild stuffs happen at Nickelodeon. Yeah, I heard some Apparently. stuff, some crazy stuff. Bro, That's just terrible. get just get slimed a little bit. Nah. <laughs> Another <laughs> two from Project Iceman says, Lucci's concern for Kaku pleasantly surprised me. I, I wasn't overly surprised, but I did like the development. There. Yeah. I was surprised, actually. All right. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's go back into the chapter. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you haven't liked the video yet, please like the video for us. Uh, we've been hitting over 1,000 likes uh, the past few streams, and it's yeah. been pretty good. Uh, we've been reaching a larger audience because of it. Um, also, if you haven't gone to Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, you know, five stars. Leave a nice comment if you wish. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into the chapter. All right. Whew. A lot of reading. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Yo, a lot <laughs> happened in this chapter. Like a, book, a lot happened in this chapter. It's so much. All right, continuing the chapter. 
Luffy meets Dory and Bragi again after two years. They are happy to see each other again. Bragi asks Luffy how he knows about the form of God uh, of the gods spoken of in Elbaf, but Luffy has no idea what he's talking about. Bragi explains that it's Luffy's outfit that pleases them. However, Luffy is still clueless. Meanwhile, Saint Topman Warkery, in his Fang Shi Zoan form, notices the giants, and Saint J. Garcia Saturn warns that this is a bad combination. Dory and Bragi notice both Saint Warkery and Saturn and realize that they look like the colossal beasts from the forests of Elbaf. Luffy urges them to run away, but Dory says he already knows about the situation from Sanji, and they are there to help Luffy escape. They take out a garla horn, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, to signal their crew that they have found Luffy. The giant warrior pirates start returning to their ship without attacking since the marine battleships have no treasure. However, St. Warkery asks if that is an escape signal. And if so, he'll sound off a warning to prevent their escape. Luffy notices, and then St. Warkery bellows loudly. The giant captains and Luffy brace themselves, and the city behind them starts to bend. Black lightning exudes off St. Warkery, causing Luffy's eyes, scars, hat, and flip-flops to fly off. The marines begin to notice the island is shaking, and one of them passes out. Dorian Bragi asks if Luffy's okay, and Luffy replies that he's good. He didn't expect Conqueror's hockey, and Bragi asks who this guy is. Luffy replies that he's just some bossy guy from the world government. Uh, so with that being said, Lionel, what did you think about uh, this part of the chat? Again, so much has, um, like, they revealed a little bit, so much. Um, so now they're kind of giving clar clarification that pretty much Nika is their god. Um, which they spoke about in Alphabath, and it goes into the Buccaneers. Because like, Kuma, you know, they said that Kuma has giant's blood in them, and how they view, how he viewed Nika as, like, you know, as a figure. I think they implied that it was, like, a more religious thing towards um, Kuma and that they thought Nika was a god. So it's kind of like tying them together. Yeah. It's tying the Buccaneers. Whether we don't know if it's, like, a half race or what's going on or, like, if a giant you know, made it with a, a smaller human and, like, you know, we don't know, but, like, they're tying the two Buccaneers and Giants together. And the fact that they're saying that the Buccaneers have um, Giants blood in them, and, but it's also interesting, why are they cursed then? Like, like why are you signaling out with the Buccaneers and not the Giants themselves? Because you're trying to use the Giants as your army at one point, because we're Big Mom and, you know, and, and Matt, what's her name? Um, Big Mom's mom? Um, Caramel? Yeah, Caramel, trying to use the Giants to, to join the Marines. So that's, Again, they, that goes into probably the Buccaneers have to do did something to cause their, you know, sustain, um, I guess, for what the Garcia has against them. But, but, again, just tying, we need more information, but it's just, I find it very interesting now. Like, you know, especially um, they, they're tying the Buccaneers together, but just, I don't want to fully understand, like, what makes them so cursed. Um, the whole hockey thing when you were bringing up with um, with the Garcia, I have two <laughs> things. I One of them I brought up to Lawrence. No, I think I brought up both of them to Lawrence. I really thought of uh, um, two things. One of them was um, pretty much you, you, when you were talking about the advanced of like you know, um, you know if we're going to see more of ho King Position hockey. I started thinking of pretty much, and it might be indication of they already did it twice with Observation and um, Armin. I noticed when they went when we went to Skypea, they said the first time we encountered um, Observation with a different name was Mantra. And pretty much, but they kind of also linked it to the game. They never said it was. We don't know, but they kind of linked that the voice of all things. That's where we got more information of the voice of all things, but we also heard that Mancha is another name for observation. But again, we are, I don't know if they're linking the two, but they never said, but our mind thinks of observation when hearing the voice of all things. That's a unique thing for observation. Now we go to Wano, where we hear about a higher version of ha with Boshoku Haki, but we also get another name, Ryo. To um to hot ha um, hockey, then we get the shield and something even further penetrating from the inside. Yeah, we get outward emission and inward yeah. emission. Yeah, I'm thinking the only one we didn't get another name is for Hoshoku Haki. We just know it as Hoshoku Haki or Conquerors. We don't know the other name for it yet. And I'm thinking if we do get that, I think that's going to be an indication of the more advanced versions or the more powerful versions of Conqueror's Hockey. If if we're going to get if we're going to get another name, and I'm thinking of what island would it be? Because we had it at um, Skypea, we had it at we um, at Wano, maybe Alfbath would be the other name. Alf El Bath. Alf Bath. No. no. What? <laughs> Say L. L Bath. Bath. 
Baffa. Baffa. With the F. L Baff. L Baff. Thank you. Yo, 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 don't be using the chat. <laughs> don't be using the chat, Milano, man. I can't wait till Zoro's in Elbath, bro. I'm gonna have a field day. <laughs> but yeah, that, again, I don't know if it's gonna be the Giants. Or I'm just gonna say that because like, whatever. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm just interested in if we're gonna get that. You know, that's an interesting idea, though, that we would have a different name on Elbath. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, I didn't think about that. It's almost like hockey is everything, and people of different cultures just call yeah. it different stuff. Yeah. Shut up. What are you going to say? <laughs> oh, man, I felt like that. I did. I'm not going to lie. I did. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Not the same. Yes. <laughs> Clearly not the same. Yeah, man. shut up. Man. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway, so it also thought of, like, this, seeing him, though, seeing, clarifying that he is a conqueror, and me and Lewis and had this conversation, made me think that all the five guards, they have to have it. Yeah. Like, they have to have it. And pretty much that goes into obviously mostly implying that Eam is also in Conquerors as well. And I'm starting to think of one that also kind of implies, again, E might be greater than, all, like, you know, what I always said, like, they're all loyal to Eam. That's what all five Conquerors are loyal and really submit to Eam. So that he's kind of, in a way, going to the manga wise, greater than Roger and these other people who had Conquerors under them. But the one I also starts thinking of, that changed the battle, um, like, you know, the battle terrain towards them. Because we all thought, like, maybe the straw has a certain people are going to fight the Gorosei. But now that it's all conquerors, we even we must believe, like, no, another conqueror has to take, if they're going to fight, if it's going to be one-on-one fights, if they're going to be one-on-one fights, and they're going to fight the Gorosei and Eam, and they're going to beat them, the conquerors have to face them. So, like, the lineup, to me, like, for allies, would have to be Shanks, Luffy, most likely Zolo. But the only conquerors we don't have would maybe is, if Dragon is a conqueror, then he most likely be one of them. But that's still only four. We're still missing two. And who's worthy to fight a Gurase? Because kids know Yamato, like, <laughs> I don't, we don't know if Yamato deserves that fight. And that's goes to the, who, uh, what conqueror we're going to find out in the show or who is going to be able to fight the two Gurase? Because you know, we're missing two more. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I don't know. Well, one of them feasibly will go down here, right? No? You think so? I think, I think Saturn should. This is his arc, right? Because you know I, mean? I thought of two people, but Lawrence said no. And I'm like, it's fine. I said, if Garb is confirmed, maybe Garb and maybe Sengoku. But Lawrence was like, no, that won't happen. Like, Sengoku's not going against the world girl, say, in the world government. And Garb, I guess he said he's too old or whatever. And I thought of Rayleigh also is too old. Like, there's some people who could, but they might they may not fit that role specifically, or they might be too old to do it. Mm-hmm. Maybe so Luffy got to double up, bro. You always say this. And it's th- it happened yeah. one time. Like... <laughs> one time and that was it. Now you think he's gonna keep on hey, doing it. Mm. Yeah. What? All right. You good? Oh, so with the screaming thing, that was crazy with Luffy, bro. I was like, his scar came off. Like that was just like more going to the toony thing. I thought mm. that was hilarious, but like how ridiculous that was. And later on, he's checking it. Like it's, <laughs> it's my scar back. It's <laughs> just like what? But yeah, but that's what I have though. It was hilarious. But yeah. All right, long. Um, no, honestly, Lado took a lot of my points. So, um, yeah, um, yeah. to me, it just changed that, just to reiterate, it just changed that dynamic because we all thought that, you know, Sanji was going to fight some. But to me, how I see it, it's going to be Luffy fighting Eam, right? And who I believe is going to be there is definitely going to be... That changed where, even uh, to your thoughts, Sebastian, where I don't see Blackbeard, like, somehow taking out Shanks anymore. Mm-hmm. Right, like granted, I would disagree with it from the get, but to me, it's like no, because you're gonna need people, right, that be able to strong enough hockey wise. Because for example, I know you guys would say like Garp, for example, I don't believe he's a conqueror, but like, if you're strong enough hockey, Garp's the exception that could battle conquer uh, con- other conquerors users, right? As in, because not as, for example, a conqueror has to fight a conqueror because we have one situation where a conqueror lost to someone who wasn't, and that's uh, Garp versus Don Chinjao. I think that's the only record we have where... Who else? Um, if it's confirmed, Ace versus Blackbeard. Oh, yeah. Ace, oh, yeah. Ace and Blackbeard. Yeah, so two. I feel like all those people are probably just conquerors in Oda's grand scheme, but I feel you. I, you know what I mean? I don't... Blackbeard has his own shines to be one, and to me, Garp has not been confirmed that he's one. So I don't count them as... Right? But those are, like, different cases where, especially, for example, why I see it as they are what we're learning, right? Spoilers ahead, but like people read it, 
the immortal factor. They can heal from anything, right? The only thing, uh, why I said is like you need something greater to fight them. Regular hockey is just not going to do it. And it's a, to me, this is a perfect opportunity to show why, for example, the show's been kind of showing from the beginning how important conqueror it, Conqueror's users are, right? They, Rayleigh Stevens said it, they shape the world that we live in, right? That was noteworthy when he was saying that you're going to see them, they're either going to be a big name or they're going to shape the world, right? Now you're at this stage where like these are the final people I believe. These are the end, end result, you know, right? It's higher right now. It's like a higher than Blackbeard, higher than that. It's higher than Pirate King because this is a world stage, you know? So at this level, you need something greater. Like the guy asked before about what does Luffy need to fight him in the Gorosei, right? And it was like, yeah, you mentioned ability. That's only one thing. He needs to get his hockey way stronger, including his conquerors way stronger. He needs to get his observation to the point where like he can do what Shanks does. Like, like you know how, for example, um, Oda said, right, for Luffy, he's going to specialize in conquerors. Zoro's going to specialize in Bosoku and Sanji in observation, right? But we see Luffy kind of kind of doing it all, right? He's being the jack of all trades, kind of master. Luffy needs to do that even further to all like Larry brought out, like the special skills with uh, conquerors. Luffy needs to be able to use his observation where he could kind of like shut down people's stuff to compete with the the Gorosei. You know, he needs to do that with uh, um, with uh, co conquerors too. Like we saw, where Shanks even shut down an Admiral's ability, right? To like, st I'm thinking maybe you could do that to even somehow slow down their regenerative ability somehow with your conquerors, and then hit them with your attacks. Because if they're this strong, right? Because now we're past the point where like, are the Gorosei strong? We don't know that. No, we know it now, right? With their monstrous or pesach. Pes uh, whatever. Monstrous hockey. Preposterous. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Preposterous. Whatever. <laughs> Monstrous hockey. Their regeneratively and their zone types of ability and their physical attacks what they're able to do. Right? They are proven to be they are strong. And this goes into, for example, we talked about earlier of why do people listen to them? Right? Mm -hmm. Why do people side with the world government? They show them to be so evil. They don't care about you. They only care about their power, right? And they're willing to take you out, your insects to them, right? But to me, again, it, this kind of answers the question. It's because they're this strong, yeah. right? <clears throat> they really, they, they want to keep the power and they hold the world in their hands. No one could really fight against them. Because also with Rob Lucci, even though he looked shocked, right? To me, what I saw, I forgot to mention it, he recognized the form. Right? He knew immediately. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking the voice wise too. But like if he cause like for example, York was like, What what is this? Some things here, some monsters here, right? Rob Lucci is like he immediately asked a question. He didn't Rob Lucci didn't question it. It was he means he got the answer and gave them the whole rundown, right? Because I guess him seeing that figure was like, All right, we are this is a serious matter because now is he here too, you know? And he's in full form. To me, he re he was shocked because the highest authority showed up. But he, to me, he recognized it. I don't think he recognized the the form itself. I think he recognized the voice, and like he was able to re you know, this is Mars or whoever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or the who is it? It's Mars. The Mars is the uh, Itsumade. Yeah. The flame. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think he's. I don't think Luchi's ever seen this form before, which is why he's as shocked as he is. Okay, I understand that. But I'm, he just knew who it was. Yeah, that's what upon I mean. He him. knew who yeah. it was, like immediately. And to me, that goes into because, like, also because if you have someone like Rob Luchi and certain people, why would they listen to people who are in a way like I can take out or weak? Why would they hold such power over the world government? Right. The world government hosts his power. Why would they listen to him if they were like weak? You know, because for example, even like, uh, like now we see sometimes there were royalty in the the show, where like out of respect for the king, right? The people love the king. They they keep it in power. They listen, right? What we've seen when people believe that they can overthrow the king when they start living like uh, cruel, like we saw it in Alabasta when they started thinking Cobra was a wicked king, a revolt happened, right? We saw it in um, Des Rosa revolts happen so if you don't believe that you could unless you're not strong enough to take out that king why in one piece what they don't really show that the strong listen to the weak unless they have love for that that the higher uh rank right or higher power so to speak like he's authority he's weaker than me like even in drum island they wanted to overthrow the thing but they weren't strong enough 
right? So to me, that shows like shows then how strong they are. They hold it because the other uh, Celestial Dragons may not be strong, but you have the Gurusei, Ian the Gurusei, and the Holy Knights to show them that they are strong, and that's how they even hold the power. Especially to what the getting away with all this wickedness they're doing, do, what they're able to do. So to me, what I'm saying is that why you would need someone like, like almost like Luffy level and his strongest to even compete with them. That's why it changed the whole dynamic to me of like the show. As in, we thought it was gonna be Luffy and his you know stronger crew members fighting the Gorosei. No, to me, only conquer users. Right, mm-hmm. like the ones that shape the world are gonna be able to fight at this level because they're gonna have the only chance to even try to damage them you yeah. know so um yeah so that's why right now like who are the other two to me because i believe it's luffy zoro uh shanks and dragon that's who i put in that that final fight like uh after uh everything said and done who are the other two that's going to be able to fight at this level with the with the gorosei and Eve? Hmm. all right so all right one it was just super cool like i know i mentioned this last time the luffy reuniting with dory and Bragi. i thought it was really cool I was interested. I was proven wrong. It wasn't. They were specifically talking about his form yeah. as as Joy Boy, as Nika, not that it was Luffy. Um, and they speak to it like your outfit. It great. It ple- it pleases us greatly. I thought that was like mad interesting. I'm like, whoa. So, Elbaf is gonna be like. We, they said they'll talk later. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be a lot of lore. Like I already knew that, but now it's like they got real Joy Boy lore and history and knowledge there probably well beyond even what um Saul has brought back with the books like I think that's probably just been in their lore for years because they talked about the sun god they talked about the other gods and stuff on Elbaf when Mother Caramel was around um in regards to uh the the rest of that piece they they talked about speaking to that Saturn talks about it's a bad combination it's like, yo, the sun god has now reached Elbaf. Like, I feel like that's what they've, re- that's what Saturn and them were thinking. Like, nah, we can't allow that. We can't allow that link up. You know what I mean? And like, it's here. Yeah, we really in the end game. Yeah. Like, every time I read these things, I'm like, yo, dang, we really here. Like, we only got a couple years left, probably. Um, I normally am not a huge fan of Oda's, like, this is where everybody's at stuff. I thought this one looked better than most. Yeah. To me, I, it was clean. I liked that the ships were hovered, like were circling around. They had the egghead stuff. I, I normally don't care for those. Like I can kind of figure out where everybody is or whatever. I like this one because there has been a lot of moving parts here, and it was showing like the Vega Punks locations as well. I, I kind of like that. Um, in regards to the horn, and then him saying, "Oh, you blew your horn." I I got my own horn. I thought that was funny. I could blow too. <laughs> yeah, like I thought that was funny as hell. Like that was not petty. And then I didn't anticipate it to be as like powerful as it got. Yeah. Like I was like, wait, hold, hold, hold on. And like I know there's been a lot of debate on like who's the strongest Garusei. Um This is the guy that's always sitting in the middle, if I remember correctly. He's the one with the mustache and a Yeah, he has like the mark. Gorbachev like yeah. mark on his head and his name is Top Man. Which is funny to me. <laughs> he's probably the strongest. He's the first confirmed Conqueror's hockey user of them. Um, and, like, everybody probably got the Shanks vibe as far as, like, the distance with the hockey that it was moving. This still ain't Shanks level. I wouldn't say either. No. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, like, I know it, I know it looks crazy when Luffy's <laughs> tune reacting to stuff and, like, <laughs> yeah. his scars start coming off. But, like, Shanks was, like, hundreds of like a, yeah. a couple hundred thousand meters away like he yeah. was miles away bro. yo bro it was crazy and th- this this be what i'm talking about and i'll probably get into it a little further later but like the luffy thing was hilarious but this is what i mean when i'm like yo i don't know how we scale this dude anymore you know what i'm saying because like i'll get into that a little later but like he literally got permanent scars on him from like damage he's taken over time as pirate get blown off of him because he was reacting comedically to what happened that was probably a top 10 conquerors hockey moment that we've seen in the show right and it's like this is his reaction he didn't take damage he got lol my scars flew off like this is what i mean like i know you the the conquerors hockey thing for sure like luffy's gonna need to be at the top of that which we all know he will be mm-hmm. but if he can harness this to just be this 
for any extended period of like for a day for three hours. Just imagine mm -hmm. what we're looking at. Um, I wonder why he put it back. <laughs> he had that scar on his face and his hand like it. He's like, okay, yeah, I you I would put it back. Yeah, yeah, not keep your scar. I would keep my scar. <laughs> I would keep my scar. I would keep it. Um, beyond that, how far did you get? I'm trying to remember. Is it right here or is it? Like... I stopped before he started somersaulting. Okay. All right. All right. So. I'll get more into the Luffy, how we scale him stuff later. But in general, I thought it was dope. I really did. I, I really did. And then Luffy just like, it's just some like government big shot, like a, some bossy guy. He, he don't, you remember, he don't know nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know what he's dealing with right now. Like, yeah. you know, these, these are these guys, that they run the world. He, Luffy has never heard of the Garza in his life. Mm -hmm. And he's facing off all, like with all of them. So I thought that was cool. But that's it for me. All right. Uh, for me... Uh, I think the Giants know what Nika looks like. They probably just don't know his name. Probably got lost in text or whatever. Because if... I mean, these two have been away from Elbaf for like 100 years. But granted, when they probably were living in Elbaf and growing up, they probably had to hear the name. So it makes me think like if they didn't, then the Giants don't know what Nika's name is anymore. But they still worship him. They still have winter solstice festivals about him stuff like that you know um it was pretty nice to see like they know his outfit so i don't think it's just luffy's outfit itself i think it's just the color white yeah yeah just i think it's all white yeah just being all white he's like yo nobody dresses like that like you resemble him mm -hmm. that we know of um it was very interesting to see like the girls say be like yo giant so oh, what a bad combination um and then we get the next panel where Dory talks to Bragi like, yo, don't they remind you of, like, the animals from Elbaf, the Elbaf forests? So if Elbaf is supposed to be, like, this mythical island and it has a lot of relevance to the mythical animals in the world and they are giants, they are stronger than most people, that means their climate is stronger than most people, that means their animals are stronger than most uh, other animals. I can see how this could probably be just animals from their period of time or during a history in, in a period of their time right mm -hmm. so that's what's starting to make it it seems like oda's reeling it back and being like yo y'all bug and thinking as demons like it's really just they're just animals bro yeah that's all it is um so that was really cool to me uh the gallo horn i i feel like i should have did more research on it because I feel like it signifies more things than we're leading on. Mm -hmm. It might have something to do with like epidemics too, or like mm -hmm. when things are in turmoil, it gets wrong and people are to be aware. I, I, I have to do more research on it, but that was pretty cool. Um, so this was what I was talking about before, about how when you have Conqueror's Hockey, you could do like multiple things with it. I think this is where my mind started going into where most Conqueror's Hockey users don't find their specialty with their Conqueror's Hockey. What they probably do is they probably eat devil fruits and learn how to uh, use Conqueror's Hockey in a special way from anybody else. Big Mom, she did it with her devil fruit, right? We have Warkery now doing it with his devil fruit. I'm pretty sure his special ability is like bellowing, like yelling. He's like, yo, let me infuse Conqueror's Hockey into that. Maybe I could do something that nobody else can do. That's where like this Conqueror's Hockey starts to get a little bit more tactical and more like it adds more to your arsenal. So he probably can't do like the things that Shanks can because Shanks doesn't need a separate uh, uh, source to um, utilize his Conqueror's Hockey. He can just do it because he's like a regular guy. I found ways to do it without needing a devil fruit. And that brings it back to like how people fight. People who fight without using devil fruits, but then they just fight with using devil fruits. And when you mix it with your devil fruit, you can get something that's very uh, unique, like Luffy's. Or you could just do something like Roger did, or Garp does, or like Shanks does. And that's where it goes, yo, what's the most important way to utilize Conqueror's Hockey? It, do you need a devil fruit in order to do something special, or can you just do it without it? And some people sometimes need help. They probably need the help of a devil fruit to um, access or utilize their hockey because they wouldn't be able to do so otherwise. 
So that's why devil fruits basically attract themselves to people who can bring the best out of that devil fruit, right? So that was pretty interesting to me. And I just I just thought it was really cool that, um, you know, if you were to see Luffy for the first time, what would you think? If you never heard, if you heard of Luffy the same way we heard of Kaido and Big Mom, and we just saw him randomly one day fighting, would you be like, yo, this is the number one person in the show? You didn't know he had stamina would, issues. Would he be top one? Like you didn't know he had stamina issues. You didn't know anything. <laughs> would you be like, yo, is this the top one guy in the show? To me, I'd be like, yeah, for sure. There's nobody to compete with him. If he's doing all this, I can't imagine what else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because when Luffy comes off, like um, he could do anything, capable of anything, and he's just having fun with it. Imagine him like really taking stuff seriously, going all out. Yeah. Uh, so. What we're going to do, guys, we have two more subjects on the uh, manga. We have Super Chats to read. I don't think we're going to be able to get to calls. I apologize. There's just so much more to do. But we are going to take a sponsorship break right now. And then we're going to come right back to everything else. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Like the video if you haven't. And we'll see you in like two minutes. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe having difficulty sleeping? struggling with their relationship, or suffering from low self-esteem? Listen, I've been there. We have been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained and here to help you out. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire and it's as simple as that, guys, to help with your specific needs and then get you matched with a therapist under 48 hours. After that, you schedule a secure video or phone session. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is confidential. We signed up for different reasons. And to be honest, it's legit. It helped us out a ton. You can request a different therapist at any point with no additional charge anytime. Join the two plus million people who took charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. This offer goes out to all our That One Piece Talk Nakama. You get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. For mm. Wi-Fi, just to read it. <laughs> yeah. But we was a saluto, bro. Yeah. Oh, we're back. <laughs> All right, I'll just read a couple super chats while Larry's still in the bathroom. We got five from Zoro Top One. It says, I'm a Zoro stan, but this chapter made me respect Rob Lucci a lot more. He's got that dog in him, and I like the character progression. Rob Gucci is greater than Lonji. <laughs> uh, we got another five from Caleb Beltron. It says, by the way, Seb, it's pronounced Caleb. But congrats on 100K. Also, last I heard, Marv was just finishing Dress Rosa. Where is he now, and how is he liking the arc? Marv? I can't, I can't hear Marv. I can't hear Yeah, I couldn't hear him. Oh, I'm in the process of switching from streaming services because uh, who oh, yeah. ran out of English episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Marv is... Did, did, can they hear you? They can hear me. They can hear you? Okay. And, uh, Lionel gave me his uh, Crunchyroll, so I still need to log in. Yo, but I don't even fine. have your Crunchyroll, bro. We didn't know you needed it. That's cra- I mean, I don't, but that's crazy. Bro, yeah, you have my Funimation. It's still connected. No, nah, bro. They are connected. Hold They're it down, bro. They are connected. Dude, you already have Country Roll. You yeah, see someone yeah. else? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you making it sad? You gotta have backups, bro. <laughs> I can't. Yo, Marv. Well, I don't give Marv his Country Roll. You got Lionel's Country Roll? No. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> we got another five from George Brown. It says, congrats on the 100K, gang. Love from the UK. Oh, thank you. Not thank chapter you. related, but if you could put any kingdom character into the One Piece verse, who you got? Definitely not Reboku. I'm the only one who can answer this question because yeah. they don't read it. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Kyokai. Oh, yeah? What about that Lubu person you told me about? There's a lot of there's a lot of dope characters, but Kyokai, bro. I'm going Kyokai. Uh, we got another five from Buggy D Dragon. It says, "Congrats on 100K, y'all! Just saw last week's live stream, and who knew Broker Potter was an NBA fan? I didn't even know Hogwarts had a team." <laughs> Hashtag pisses for life. Yo, that's one thing about Harry Potter. It's supposed to be in the 90s. Nobody mentioned the Bulls, bro. Not once. Jordan was out here winning six chips in a row, and not one person was like, Stop "Yo, the Bulls, Bulls out here." 
<laughs> Crazy. We got another five oh, from Kaibari2600. It says, hey, guys, congrats on 100K. If you were to take a vacation anywhere in the OP world, where would you go? Hashtag Larry D. Leaker. <laughs> Hashtag petition for Larry to cosplay Dragon. <laughs> anywhere in the world, y'all. Honestly, we got this question before, we, right? We have. Um, I'm going to not go perverted this time. I think we talked about whole cake, right? Because the food. I think well, I did say whole cake. Whole cake, Des Rosa is a good one. I might. Okay. Not with under, obviously, Doflamingo's Rain, because you don't want to go You there. definitely want to go during Doflamingo's Rain. That's when it's popping. You just don't want to go on that day. <laughs> <laughs> that day was bad, but in Dude. general, it was popping out there. No? If you leave Dofi alone, he leaving you alone. You get to see Coliseum fights. There's fine women. You yeah. might get stabbed, but like. <laughs> you might, or turn into a toy. Just don't be wilding. Just don't get turned out. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Join the gang. gang no, gang. but that's not on you. What if other people are wilding out and you there? Don't partake. <laughs> what if it's bird cage? He just ran, yeah, I was like, he decides, you know what? I'm just going to bird cage for today. Cause Again, leave I that, that man alone. <laughs> You're going to do it. That's all you got to like, do. What if another straw hat team comes it's, up? It's crazy. All everybody had to do was leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Everybody be good. I mean, the toys, that's rough, but we didn't even remember that. I might go to Elba because they be feeding them. Yo, you ain't never been there, The bro. huge portions of food? <laughs> I was going to say that. You the huge that portions of food? stink there. Bash, you don't know. Bash, I mean, you like Luffy. A person had a big, giant grape, but they were drinking out of a straw. Imagine yeah. a giant with body odor just Ugh. walking around. Ain't yeah, 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 washed yeah. in days. I'll smack them like Big Mom. <laughs> <laughs> just like, take it out. <laughs> you have one there? Yeah, yeah, I said, okay. Oh, you said, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. We got another 18 month membership to Yonko status from our guy Strahd. Love you, man. It says, Debo theme song plays, Lur understands. Congrats <laughs> to the boys for hitting the 100K marker. The things are only starting to appear on the horizon for TOPT. Thank you to everyone for being on this journey. Thank you, Thank Strahd, you Strahd, for making man. it Thank better. You. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. You, bro. Another five from Luffy Length. It says, never forget the Gorosei's first appearance in the series was them glazing Shanks, taking solace in the fact he doesn't want to conquer the world. That's one way to read that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a little true, low-key. Uh, we got another... We read that already? Yeah. Okay. We got another five from Off Brand. It says, Do you think we'll get a Nika flashback similar to the first Avatar, where we see him setting out on his journey and see a different world of One Piece? I hope not. I thought of that too. Like, we're actually going to see the original Nika and all that stuff. I hope we get a Nika flashback yeah. dressing out. Similar to the Avatar? Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know how I feel yeah, about Yeah, I feel the same way as well. My yeah. only fear about the similar to the Avatar thing is that it, it retconned the whole spirit world yeah. situation in Avatar, don't do that. Yeah. Don't retcon One Piece. Uh, we got another Nakama joining us in John VBHB. So welcome, John. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We got another two from JT. It says, Seb looking mighty fine today. Fit check? I appreciate you, my guy. <laughs> JT, be, JT be hating on me a lot. Yeah. So I appreciate the, the support. <laughs> Listen, bro, he he hating on you. He don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> he outright yeah. says he don't like me in the Discord. Daily, bro. <laughs> What's up, JT? <laughs> All right. JT, Jake, Drake gonna respond, man. Trust me. He gonna, he gonna respond. We got another 20 from Villain D Juice. It says, gotta get back to work. Y'all be blessed and like the stream. Yes. Hashtag topped on top. Thank you, Villain. <laughs> Thank you. Drake. Another Thank you. five from Luffy Length. Which Hokage can keep fighting with a third of their head missing and magma pumping through their chest cavity? The first. Hashirama. Yeah, the first. That's probably the only one. Okay. Oh, boy. Maybe Tsunade. Probably. She can heal. Yeah, yeah Tsunade, Tsunade too. can heal yeah. Naruto. I assume he has some regenerative abilities. I don't know if his no? head gets... <laughs> I, don't yeah, know. I don't know about that. But at a weaker condition in old age, they could do that? Because that's a white... Because he's, call, he's calling out white beards condition. I'm not down with Hashirama. And Yoshi was lying on healing abilities. Wiper didn't heal. He still took out a kind of... I mean, cool, bro. He didn't take him out. He still got up. <laughs> he took him out. He, was, he still got he up. He got bro. up, bro. Um... Overall, the tanking ability in One Piece is just different. Yeah. yeah. We got another two from Wild Trill Bill. It says, Revolutionary Army on the way. They fight while Luffy escapes. It's just hard to close that gap, bro, where they are. And yeah, I'm putting too much faith in people that don't even rescue their own people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Another two from Luffy Light. Which Kage is fighting for days straight? Oh, he on a Hokage's heads, bro. Hashirama. <laughs> Hashirama. I'm going to just keep giving you the same word. <laughs> yo, yo uh, Hashirama's like that, yo, bro. Yo, he really like that, bro. He's like that, bro. When I've I seen and heard, I, uh, yeah. He's I like that, bro. He really is the truth. 
Another five. He's like easily my second or fir- favorite character in the show. Yeah, man. It's just, like he's like Lawrence's Rizo for me. I just I'm just glad. Rizo. Rizo. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I won that 12 year old debate that I had with Merlin about uh-huh. him being the goat. Yeah. Merlin, oh, if you're the- watching, <laughs> I was right. You know you're not watching. You were wrong. for him. He was right. wrong. Another five from Ron Madison. Nothing. Please, guys, let us know what you think. Nothing. About nothing? <laughs> I think the world of nothing, honestly. Uh, another five <laughs> from Kecker's Boy. It says, day-long fights are an off-screen thing, and real fights will only ever be small time frame. Luffy versus Cracker was 11 hours because it was off-screen. It was 11 hours because Luffy was receiving help. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was 11 hours. He really got bodied. That wasn't his point, man. Oh, I get it. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Now the five from 2XTTV, it says, bash the goat, hashtag Freaky Larry, hashtag Bald Usopp, hashtag can't trust the twins in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know, but I appreciate it. Uh, we got another 10 from Damon Xbox Live. It says, big what up though from the 313 Detroit. Throw your hands up and follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Been watching y'all for a minute. And I think y'all are dope, but I have just one question. Do y'all believe Zoro is stronger than Law, and why? I'm on team no. <laughs> With a laughing emoji and the hands up. Um, yes and hockey. Yeah, yeah man. That's Zoro. really it. it. To me, it's going to go durability, conquerors, and all, all around hockey. Yeah. Yeah. It's hockey. Yeah, I can see the fight going either way just because Law has hacks, but yeah. in general, like, lean on the dude who has a stronger hockey and is a conqueror. Yeah. And reaction time, probably. Yeah. I do say Zoke mostly can't slip up in that fight, though. He yeah, can't. That's any, yeah, yeah. anybody who's not top of the game, really, for Law. Like, yeah. No, like, for instance, how he was treating Raul Lucy. He can't do that against Law. Yeah, that's right. I would agree. Yeah. I don't think he would. He was looking down on Raul Lucy, you know, honestly. Wano, Wano Zoro just different from A. Yeah. Zoro. <laughs> yeah. Another five year olds from MJ it says, I argue with my friend that there's no way One Piece ends at the end of the next year. When do you guys think One Piece is going to end? Definitely not by the end of next year. That's yeah, crazy. Nah. Yeah. We, why don't we take too many breaks for that? Yeah. It'll probably be in like three years. I, I, I would say five. I would if I had it, I used to think like seven to, to ten. Yeah. Just yeah. based off stuff, but we're getting a lot of end game stuff. Yeah, here. he's, right. he's kind of. If Otis said five out. years now, then I might believe it. Yeah. yeah. Another two from Mike Williams says, "Will Shanks be the final boss for Luffy?" I hope not. No, I hope not. We got to shorten our answers a little bit, guys. Yeah. Another five from Ron Madison, Goofy, Goofing, ha ha ha. Much love, you guys. Uh, much love to you guys. Happy to catch a live. Favorite pod to listen to. Keep Thank you. doing great Thank work. You. The community appreciates it. We appreciate you guys too. Thank, Thank you, you so much for all the super chats. Yep. Another twenty from Namskin Dinika. Congrats on reaching one hundred k, guys. Thank you, Larry. Your takes are the best. Ah. Seb, keep it toxic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel, four k is on point. I'm sure Law beats Kaido in arm wrestling match. <laughs> Who has stronger durability? Gorosei, Kaido, or Luffy sandals? <laughs> um, See, I feel like it's not fair, right? Like yeah. they're, they're getting damaged by yeah. stuff that wouldn't even I would hurt say Kaido. Kaido. Yeah. I would say Kaido. They're just regenerating it from it. Like Kaido, Kaido's more durable than Marco is. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think yeah. they're relying on hacks. That's yeah. really yeah. what it is. Once that gets figured out, it's pretty much over. Yeah. yeah. We got another two from Dumb Society. It says, not going to lie, my guys be having some drip. <laughs> Hashtag T-O-P-T drip. Appreciate it. Larry Floyd, the, the twins, we, we, we out here today. Yeah. Thank you. N- another 10 New Zealand dollars from T Dot. It says, Ayo said, please read my hashtags properly. <laughs> Got me out here looking sus as hell. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> live love Larry. <laughs> Hashtag Seb D dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag chopper gang. My fault, bro. My fault. <laughs> Man, I got you. What did you? <laughs> I-, I said, like, lo- I think I just said hashtag love Larry. Mm. But, yeah. <laughs> what else? We got another 15. What is Israeli? Uh, it's, I don't remember. Uh, I think it's like Israeli writing. Yeah. I, I, we can't read it though. Yeah. YouTube doesn't like translate it for us. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it says in Israel, it is one in the morning, and I finally managed to see you on live. Hashtag Larry the Legend. Oh, Stop. thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
Another 10 from Hayo. It says, happy 100K. Congrats for you guys. Do you think we'll get a Void God Valley rerun with Luffy as Roger, Kobe as Garp, Blackbeard as Rocks, but instead of saving the Celestial Dragons, it's bringing the Dawn? Maybe. Maybe. That's a good action. That's a good one. Yeah. 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 Another 550 Sar from Khalid Ied. It says... I think they will get away from Egghead like they did in Little Garden when the giants shoot them through the fish and they will shoot them through one of the elders trying to eat them. Maybe Jupiter. Yeah. If he gets bigger. Pause. Yeah, maybe. Another two from Life with Anime Podcast. It says, fellas, all the boys just had to say hey. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Life with Anime, man. Love you guys. Yeah, man. We'll be on their pod uh, this Wednesday. Yeah. 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 You think yeah. that's Joe or you think it's... Uh, I think it's Joe. Preston. Okay. Yeah. We got another uh, one-month membership to Yako Status from Alex Vargas. It says, happy 100K, guys. Thank you. Y'all have made my One Piece journey so much better with the good and bad takes. <laughs> you guys have inspired me to keep grinding and streaming, and because of that, I've been seeing results. Thank you. Thank Yo, you, Yo, congrats Thank on you. that, bro. Keep yeah. pushing the bar for yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. We got another five from Scooter Looter. It says, nothing particular to say today. Hashtag congrats on 100K. Hashtag Mihawk is greater than Shanks. <laughs> so, so, so many W's and then no. <laughs> Another. Uh, a Life with Anime podcast joined us as a Yonko. Oh, so thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You know you don't have to do that. Bro. If y'all haven't already, please subscribe to Life with Anime podcast. They're dope. Yes. Another 10 from Strahd. It says, looks back at my night rankings. Hitting different now, hey? <laughs> I told y'all Gorosei would be like this. Mihawk is no longer sixth on my list. He moves down like a Price is Right contestant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Mihawk top one Strong fans are one shambles liners, today. Another 10 from Chris. It says, Gear 5 destroys Prime Garp. Light work, GG's, no reaction. Chill out. Yeah, Chris, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. Chill out, you just you just don't got it. Chill out, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got it, bro. Another five from Mama Kid. It says Vegapunk versus Rick. Who you got? Hashtag give Larry his flowers. I believe he's saying Rick from Rick and Morty. Yeah. I'm going Rick. Yeah, without, you're right here. Without, without, yeah. without even a question. Yeah. What I hear from Rick is ridiculous, It's bro. no diff. It's no diff, bro. It's no diff. He no diff Batman, too. Uh, yeah. I would say so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to talk about. It's Rick, bro. Uh, we got another two months uh, membership from King Jar Jar. It says, still don't read One Piece, but I'm still here. Love y'all. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I Thank wonder you. what his what his thought is on all this. Yeah. He's probably like, yo, these guys are entertaining. <laughs> yeah, what? Like, are you at least watching, like, you're caught up in the show, the anime, hopefully? Yeah. yeah. It's probably just really cool to listen. I suppose. Another five from Ramel Sharp. It says, what's good, boys? Just want to say congrats on 100K. Keep up the good work. Topped on top. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Guys, we're going to get to the chapter. We we are going to do two more Super Chats, and then yeah. we're going to go back into it. Yeah. We got another 13 months from our guy, Nerd Taku. Thank you, Taku. <laughs> Thank you. Please subscribe to our guy, Nerd Taku. He's the man. Uh, 100K is amazing. Congrats. Hashtag Mr. Oh, Worldwide. Hashtag... Troll Seb for real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nertaku. Thank, Thank you, Taku. You. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we got 10 from Kirby. It says, Oda really said T.O.P.T. ain't take calls in a month. Give the streets a three-week break. <laughs> LOL, y'all the goats. Hashtag <laughs> Shanks one taps all five elders. Hashtag Law D. AD child support. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kirby. Yeah, Oda definitely knows we need that three week break. <laughs> <laughs> Oda even knows who we are. It's crazy. Uh, did you want to read the other one? Oh, yeah. We got another 10 from Obelisk. Obelisk. It says, oh. That doesn't help me, bro. Uh, it says, happy 100K. I've only been listening for a few months, but y'all are one of the only pods I listen to. And shout out to Marv. By the way, Seb, my name is pronounced like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster. I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! in so long, bro. I don't remember. Obsolisk. Obsolisk? What? Obs- obsolisk. I- obsolisk. Obelisk. Obelisk? Obelisk? Obelisk. 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 Right, yeah, yeah. Marv is like, you guys can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I like my pronunciation better. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got. We can't hear you. I can't Marv. hear you, I just watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna get to a chapter. I'm so sorry. Listen, you guys are fans of us, right? You guys are sub to us. You know how the community is, man. You guys are super supportive. You guys are so amazing. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. We still have four more to go, but I really want to hit the chapter. 
Uh, I really want to hear these guys' thoughts. Uh, the chapter was super packed. It happens. Remember, we have break weeks coming up, though. I don't have any special guests that I know of right now. So that means we're going to be able to take phone calls a lot, okay? Uh, but just remember, there's always super chats to read. So if you haven't liked the video yet, please like the video. If you haven't left five stars and a nice comment on uh, Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please do. Uh, yeah. So you guys ready? Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Give me a second. I just lost my place. Uh, all right. As the fight continues, St. Warkery flips in the air. Luffy is impressed, and Dory yells out to Broggy. Broggy says he's ready, and performs Savalin Sav Sunshield to block St. Warkery's husk-bladed attack. Amid their power struggle, St. Warkery tells Dory and Broggy that the world government has much to settle with their kind, and asks if they even know who that is. The captains yell out that, of course they do. He's their friend. Then Dorian Bragi uses Skill Just Split, which pushes St. Warkery away from them, causing him to fall onto his back from the force. St. Saturn crawls up and tells them that Luffy must be crushed before they start calling him something else that's eradicated from the historical records. Then we see him spit out black bubbles. Luffy yells out that his spit must be poison. So he picks up the tree, trims the bottom with his teeth, paints the top black, creates a baseball helmet, <laughs> chokes up on the bat, takes aim, and hits all the poison bubbles like a baseball. Luffy starts laughing and asks Saturn how his poison tastes. St. Saturn and Warkery are worried. And then we see giant explosions go off, causing Luffy's eyes to completely pop out. And he can't believe they exploded. The giant warrior pirates come to tell their captains that the forest is about to be blocked off by the fire. Dory says they should go. But Luffy tells him it won't matter since they're immortal. Then we see St. Saturn, Warkery, and Jupiter form from the damage taken. Dory asks Luffy how they could be immortal, and Luffy replies that he doesn't know, but they come back no matter what he does. Bragi yells out that he's never heard of any race that can do that. So, Seb, tell me your thoughts on this part of the chapter. All right, so I got into it a little earlier about, like, how do we scale Luffy? And, like, seriously, y'all. How do we scale this dude? How? He, he, what, pause time, I guess? Like, they shot these things at yeah. them. I thought the same Like, thing, And I know it's cart, like, it's two fours, but, like, he was able to see this coming from mid range, grab a tree, bite it down, paint it black. Yeah. Shout out to Mihawk. And <laughs> put on a helmet, like, create a helmet, put mm -hmm. it on, swing it. Is it a Congress hockey bit sword? Like, uh, uh, bat? No. You know what I'm saying? I like that it had the 56 on it. I thought that was dope. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I love Gomu. baseball. Yeah. I love baseball growing up. Who's that number of re reference to? Oh, Gomu is 5'6". Yeah, Gomu is 5'6". Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, and then, like, he won. Choked up on that Batman, set the right back. He he hit it perfectly, right? Mm -hmm. If you hit it perfectly, it goes right directly back. So, like, Luffy could have played in the league, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Yankees could use him, man. We he ain't better him. than Yamcha, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, like, the explosion, uh, it, it looks really cool, right? Like, just, like, this, what are they called? Mushroom clouds? Yeah. Going up. Clouds, I thought that yeah. looked really cool. And then even... Yo, the big boys. L little boy? And oh, Fallout. Oh, uh, fat, fat Man. Fat Man. Fat yeah, Man, Fat Man's in Fallout. Fat Man's were dope in Fallout, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Those are crazy. I miss Fallout, Yeah. Bro. But um, I, I really did enjoy that. Like, and that's what I'm saying, like, if he could just be in this mode for an extended period of time and he's just doing this kind of stuff, like, he got to start incorporating true conquerors hockey into these attacks, which is yeah. what I think would really be what pushes him to the edge as far as actually damaging these people. Because, like, he keeps doing these attacks and we're not seeing the the, the lightning that we saw when he was hitting Kaido. Mm hmm Which is another testament to what Kaido was surviving when he was getting rocked by this stuff. But, like, overall, the Gorosei did look badass taking that attack and then like regenerating from it yeah and, like even luffy's starting to be like yo like it doesn't matter yeah i just did that attack and it doesn't matter they're they're immortal and like this is what i mean when i'm talking about scaling luffy like oda basically had to incorporate immortal people into the series for him to have true competition that like otherwise like if you're not a conquer hockey user you what smoke do you really have for luffy Truly, he, he was trolling Luchi earlier in this in this arc. Yeah, he 
one shot at Admiral. <laughs> you, you get what I mean, though? He did. I don't get what you mean. Listen. He did. He did. Even if you want to say he didn't, he was struggling with, with, with Kazaru a bit in, in non-Gear 5th. When he got to Gear 5th, things changed. Whether, whether you think Kazar was going on or not, when he got to gear fifth, things was different. We'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. We're not there yet. We're not. But overall, man, like, what if he starts really incorporating Conker's hockey into this stuff? It's going to be crazy. I, I just need him to be able to do it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Stamina issues have been a problem. But I thought it was hilarious. Like, the whole section, this in, in conjunction with him, remove the... the um, what is it called? The when his scars were coming off. Like I thought this was all really, really, really funny. Mm-hmm. And I know people argue about like Luffy and tension and Gear Five like ruining it. I don't think we've gotten to that point yet in this arc, anyway. But like I'm still enjoying this for what it is. The comedy, the hijinks, and everything. I do want to see it step up a little bit. And he's starting to sweat. Mm-hmm. He's starting to sweat because it's like you know, all this funny stuff is cool, but like they they keep getting back up. So. Time to start flexing. That's all I got. All right. Uh, Law? Yeah, honestly, I was talking about this dude really has sword for tusk. Like, that's, that's yeah, he funny. turned them into swords. Oh, he, so they weren't swords originally? No. No? Oh. They were just original, uh, regular husk. If you look in the chapter, you'll just see, like, oh, he has, yeah, yeah. He has four tusks, yeah, and see. then he turned them into swords. Interesting. But honestly, one thing that really interests me in this part, section right here, uh, it could be nothing, but to me, I... I didn't have anything for it, but it made my mind curious, right? Going back to how you talked about how, all right, uh, how the the giants, Bragi and Dory, recognized uh, that form, right? And they mentioned it. Sebastian's talking about, too, said something earlier that was very interesting because I'm tying it to this thing. What he says here, right, when he spits out uh, those things, he says something, right? And we must cru- And he must be crushed before they call him something else. Mm-hmm. Right? And he's talking about the Giants referring to Nika or, you know, what we know him as Nika and Joy Boy. She's like, call him something else. And he kind of spit that guy saying, we got to get rid of him. We got to crush him before they call him something else. What do you mean by that? Does, does now it's like, does Nika have another name? So we thought it was, all right, Nika, the sun god, and then Joy Boy. You know, that's it. It's kind of plain. We see why he's called Joy Boy, and Nika's probably his name. Right? But call him something else. What, is, what does that mean? Right? Because now we go further into, like, and now we have so many association with, like, because uh, before we moved out here, we talked about how the connection between the Giants and Albaf with Nika, mm-hmm. right? There seems to, and now they're showing it more more so that how much they, they recognize the form because even Kuma, so to speak, when he saw it, he didn't think, oh, I know exactly that form. It was like, like, uh, he resembles something, you know? But they kind of identified you, you look ex- almost exactly or the exactly right. like you know like him how do you know that form you know so and now it's like calling him something else to me that's another lore like all right nika might have another name and to me that could tie into because the way they're showing it here like you talked about like it may seem like nika was even the all right if he was um so to speak the god of the um the buccaneers he may be the god of of um the giants right and Maybe he has a name that referenced that. Because now we're going into here, and I was thinking how he is making things, right? He's making things. So now I want to know, can he make something that's more, uh, uh, like, for example, the stuff we see him make, they kind of, like, short-lived, they disappear. We don't know where he makes them, where they go, whatever. But can he actually make things that last, that mm-hmm. stay? And that would create even more of a, monster that is because now you can make things that that could stay forever you know Mm -hmm. like what do you do you have to put like hockey or conquers into that to make it last forever or do you have to will it like what do you do to make it last forever and go into like usually when uh when you're representing like a a god figure there's more to it than just strength you know there's more to it than what he's able to do able to do anything but now they're showing that he can just kind of make things appear out of like thin air or whatever you know so that tying into like Nika's capability. And I know Sebastian used it to boost even, uh, like, Nika, like, all right, Luffy's scale level, where he's at, what could hurt him. But to me, honestly, for what I saw here, this even boosted the um, the Gorsa even more to me. Because, all right, you know when you have someone strong or something strong, 
right? It's like you're doing all this stuff to hurt it and you can't really do it. So you use its own things against itself to hurt it. Mm -hmm. But even that didn't hurt them, you know? He spit out these things. That came from the Gorse member. But Luffy knocked it back, and that same thing that came from them, you would think, all right, you should, all right, this is strong, use their own thing against them to try to hurt it. But that didn't even hurt them at all. So even like showing like what is it going to take to actually affect these people? If you, stuff that comes from you who are supposed to be so overpowered is not even hurting you, your, your own self, what do you have to do? And that goes into like, we know hockey conquers the NLB all. And you talk about Luffy actually using it. To me, he used it with Kaido. Hockey more conquers in his attack more. But from what I can tell, he's not. there's no signs of even just hockey in general. Granted, we saw even with um, in Wano versus Kaido, <clears throat> You see fighting regularly, and I'm guessing he was using hockey because he was affecting Kaido so much, and even Kazaro so much. Because to me, it's like, is he just turning Kazaro into rubber while he's hurting him, or is he using hockey that he's hurting because Kazaro's a Lakia, you know? So I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's happening here. Is everything Luffy just doing just hockey based? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't seem like he's putting really effort into it. There's no lightning, there's no darkening, there's, there's no will really present in his attacks, but he's able to affect anyone and anything with it so it's like what exactly are you doing are you so much not serious that you're not using hockey or are you just always using hockey All right and uh, so i'm curious about also too with the naming and then to me i just chalk it up to luffy moving that fast which right. could be like hawks that he's able to form the bat do all that stuff in that split second of time to to hit him back so but it's also a playful speed, like tune things. They do stuff like in a split second because the tune force, you know, what the tunes are able to do is like, this is ridiculous. They could do like anything. All right. And um, uh, that's all I have for now. All right. Lano? Honestly, when Shabashi broke up the paint thing and said, is that hockey? I did not think of that. But I'm thinking I didn't think of that either. I'm thinking because we don't know what color it is. It could be black. It could be a different color. But the fact that he painted it in the first place, why? Like, he could have just clothed it with, like, now he's turning hockey to paint and use it in a different way. That's just, but again, I just feel the same way with the, like, I know it's tuned, but stopping time briefly or a second, because to us it did, because, like, how did you move that fast, you know, for, um, to even hit these things? So, like, it's just trying to copy, again, they play into Luffy's ability. It's most ridiculous. So, like, if Luffy could imagine himself moving that fast in time, then I guess he could do that too. I don't know, but like, it's an, it's just it's just very interesting how to play, how the fight's gonna play out more and more. Seeing Luffy's ability, what he's able to do, but also because you said he turned his horns into blades, blades, right? Yeah. That means can they do something similar to what Luffy could do? Because you said they weren't blades, and now they they are blades now. Like, mm -hmm. what made the difference? Did he, what? How did he change it too? Mm -hmm. That's maybe when you when I you said that made me think of like can they do something similar, but maybe not like at a grander scale with Luffy because that's just making it even more ridiculous. So I don't know, but like, so much stuff is going. Honestly, too much stuff is happening. Honestly, you know, somebody commented that Luffy could just imagine that he's faster. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that, he's able to do it. So that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah, but it's just it's just funny. But honestly, it did also remind me of Popeye again. Yeah, it did. Because he made his hand Popeye, big and yeah. like, you grab it. It reminds me of Popeye. I'm Our viewership it. is a little too young to know about Popeye, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if Luffy eats some spinach, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be me, bro. Honestly, I'm still waiting for him to make food. Honestly, I think Luffy's going to do it one of these days. He's going to make food and he's going to eat it and digest it. And be like, and like, you know, just start going crazy. I'm thinking, I don't know. But yeah, I don't have anything else about that. Because you guys kind of mostly just covered it. But I'll stop here for that. Uh, I'm impressed with the mobility from St. Warkery. He a big dude. <laughs> he a big dude. Yo, he was flipping. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. <laughs> and 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 for a second, Gear 5 Luffy was like, whoa. Like, he was impressed. I And it made me question, like, yo, did he use observation hockey, like, at all? Mm -hmm. Because it looked like Dory and Broggy did. They said. They said. <laughs> yeah, like, Dory, Dory was like, yo, Broggy. And Broggy was like, sup, gang. Ready? I'm, I'm here, dog. You ready? He was like, I'm ready. What is what is the tattoo on my back saying? Our <laughs> <laughs> viewership too young to get that too, bro. Oh, man. So, I was oh, like, yo, man. bet. And, and, and for a second, I was like, yo, Dory and Broggy might get overpowered. And when they didn't, I was like, yo, uh, 
How many times I gotta be right? <laughs> Dorian Broggy need to be start. They need to start being an idea of entertainment to say like they might be top thirty, bro. They really <laughs> might, bro. Like right now, alive. I wanted to add something and I forgot to mention real quick. Because remember I kept talking about how the girl sees reaction to getting hit. They grimaced when Dorian Broggy hit him. We haven't seen them grimace from anything else but no. from this. No? Didn't Saturn grimace from Kuma? He got punched in the face by Kuma yeah. for sure, bro. But, no, they, yeah, he was like, but did he make a noise? Like, I'm, like that hurt. We knew he made a noise, but he didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's like, also, yeah. Also, Larry, bro. bro, I'm not hearing that I'm right about top 30s when the guard is saying the reason that these people are getting put there. Listen, bro. And you was denying that. I wasn't denying it. I said they didn't just need to do something. That's all I said, just right? Just I've always said that. Just, just, yeah, just do something. Just do something. Now they doing something. They now do I got something. them in top 30. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what I, yo. I, Be consistent. Yeah, you like just, that's what I said. You show out, you get yeah. love. Yo, by the way, another sword user, Mihawk ain't paid. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Yo, just saying, the bro. Tusks. Oh, <laughs> the tusks. Uh, I didn't think what Lawrence said was true until he started saying it. Like, I didn't think there was possibly another name for, like, Joy Boy or, or uh, Nika. It's Craig. Imagine saying, <laughs> like, it's like, Philip. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> but it made me think it might be, like, a Viking name. I don't know what type of Viking mm. name. It might be a giant name in Greek mythology. Maybe we just don't have enough, mm. you know, fictional information for us to like, you know, spout that out right now. Um, that seemed pretty cool. Um, it, it, so when, so this is what I'm starting to see. The Gorose are powerhouses, right? But they're not technically that strong. They're just defensively capable monsters with haxes, right? This reminds me a lot of Blackbeard. He became an offensive monster because of the Gora, but still, I've seen a Kainu match up with the Gora pretty well, if you if you don't mind me saying, except when he got hit by it, right? <laughs> mm. um, so it makes me think to myself, like, the Gora say they are top 30, for sure. I don't necessarily think they are top 10 until... I, I think that once we figure out the hacks part, mm -hmm. I think people are going to drop them like a bad habit. Mm -hmm. I'm so serious. They're going to be like, yo, they're, they're really not that crazy. Um, I was impressed that Saturn just had this black bubble in the bag <laughs> that could create like atomic bombs, apparently. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. It made me think like of Mr. Five. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, geez, like this dude could just do it on a whim. That's kind of crazy. Magellan. Yeah. See, Magellan did it with the... The, the chloroform. Yeah. Chloroform uh, balls. That's crazy. Uh, again, Luffy not using observation hockey. I noticed it immediately because he was like, yo, that's poison. He didn't yeah. go, if I hit this, I'm going to see the reflection of my damage. Yeah. Again, when is my boy going to start using hockey? <laughs> like, I just don't get it, bro. Like, is he going to start using observation, conquerors hockey? Like, when is that going to start playing an effect? Like, when am I going to see Wano Luffy again? Yeah. I'm seeing Egghead Luffy and I'm not impressed. Um... I know a lot of people, I, I think Oda listens to the community, and I'm pretty sure he's heard about the black paint. Yo, he had, <laughs> had to, to hear about had the black to. paint with Mihawk, bro. There's no <laughs> way, bro. There's no way he didn't hear about black paint Mihawk. Because right now we see in Luffy create like a bat with black paint. That's funny to me. That yeah, means that right. Oda recognizes his trolling, but also he recognizes the community's trolling. Listen, and trolling that's is always good. I see? No. Trolling has its place. I, I will point out that St. Jupiter, right, swallowed Luffy. Dorian Bragi cut him in half. Well, cut his head off. He reformed his head. That's the first time we've seen a Gorosei member get completely cut in half to the point where, like, they, they're not supposed to live anymore. When we saw it each time with Saturn, it's either he got punched or something else happened. But it was always physical hits mm -hmm. where it never tore him completely off. Yeah. But it's looking like, yeah, Saturn can lose limbs. St. Jupiter can lose his head. That makes him, that is screaming Marco to me. Every time I see it, it's more Marco to me. I don't know what it is, but Marco just keeps coming to mind. Maybe that's why when Sebastian be trolling us with like the Marco bait about like how Big Mom needed more souls in order to like put him down. Maybe this was what she was talking about. Maybe she's like, yo, I have the necessities to put him down. It's just that it takes so much to put him down because of this healing factor that he has. He's not necessarily top, like top tier for me, but it's like, I got to keep dealing with this dude because yeah. he just won't go away. 
And I think that that's what's happening right now with the Gorose. And it's very interesting that we keep getting race baited, which is a funny <laughs> word for me to use, with Oda. Because Oda is showing us different races, but now Bragi's bringing up, yo, there might be, I've never heard of any race doing this. Mm-hmm. So now I'm starting to think, well, the Giants have probably the biggest library of history on their island, right? They're not technically like like a bunch of generations between the eldest of them and the youngest of them. There's like three generations away from Joy Boy. So I'm thinking to myself, yeah, O'Hara might have had the historical knowledge of like research, but they didn't have the actual history. They were trying to decipher the history. Where Elbaf is going to have the history and they know it already. So for me, he's like, yo, I've never heard of any of these races that have had this type of power. So maybe it's like, maybe they're not a race, but it's really just, their devil fruits are just that crazy. And uh, yeah, I think we ended it on that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do super chats and then we'll get into the final part of the chapter. Okay. We do have a couple of super chats sitting. We got five from our guy Gor- uh, Strahd. It says, so in my opinion, the Gorosei have fought Joy Boy before and have come to end it quickly instead of taking the losses they took that caused the void century. It's an interesting theory, Strahd. Another five from Luffy Length. It says, so every Yonko except Luffy can fight for days straight and you can only say confidently Hashirama can do that. Yonko's wash. <laughs> Yeah, Luffy Lank got a point. Uh, another five from Luffy Lank. And y'all capping, as soon as any Kage takes a shot to the head, they are instantly done. <laughs> but y'all are inspirational for this. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you, Luffy Listen, Lank. bro, we're we not saying all Kage. Yeah, we're saying just like, Tsunade got I, cut in half. Listen, Kakashi, my guy, I seen him get, take a, a nail to the head and he was almost done, bro. Nah, he, he was done, actually. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that's not happening. Like, people be at. Just so no, you know, the, I'm... I'm Yonko, so. I just don't know Same. enough about the Kage, for real. All, you need, to know, all you need to know is Hashirama and Tsunade, bro. Yo, they got, That's it. Well, I was about to say they got Roger, but they got Whitebeard. Another five from Nertaku it says, got a theory cooking for you guys about the Gorosei's power being similar to the Venom symbiote. <coughs> I'll call in on a break week. Hashtag Troll Sleb. Sleb, wow. Troll Seb. Hashtag Wary. Hashtag Law. The dad, <laughs> Wine Nuck. What? What? Oh, Lionel's the unk. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> we got another 10 euros from the broker. It says, congrats on 100K. You guys are legends. I've been watching for a year now, and you guys are paragons of the One Piece community. I have a surprise for next week. I will message you in the Discord. The heart oh, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Thank, thank you, you guys. Thank you for everything you guys have been doing today. Seriously. Yeah. Another two from Off Brand. It says Luffy confirmed to play for the Red Sox August 26th. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, bro. Yankee gang over here. Luffy's Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12. That yeah. is. <laughs> Number five from Baby and Xbox Live. It says, did y'all miss my what up though message or am I tripping? No, we read it out. Yeah, we read, we read that it out. Yeah. yeah, bro. Thank you. Uh, go back. I don't remember. Just proves before. you ain't watching. Yeah. No, I'm joking. We got, it says, if I'm tripping, then my bad and it's all love. It's always love, Damon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another five from Mama Kid. Do y'all think Luffy beats a kind right now if they fought 1v1? Yes. I gotta go, yeah, but yes. I got high hopes for a kind. Why no Luffy? <laughs> Not A Cat Luffy. A Cat Luffy get washed, bro. A <laughs> Cat Luffy get washed, bro. Yeah, chill out, man. Another five for Strahd. It says, Have you guys talked about how it's a holo tree Luffy grabs, not a real one? The one he bites into from. Um. Wait, what? The yeah. trees are like holographic trees, but he's able to bite it anyway, is what Strahd's saying. I thought that was a real tree. Yeah. I thought it was a real tree. I guess because the bottom is that why he's saying it. The bottom is no. The roots. bottom breaks off too. Yeah, I thought it was a real tree. Maybe I maybe I read the comment wrong. He says not a real one. Yeah, I I think that's a real tree, Strzok. Yeah, but if it's not, then it, I'll chalk it up to his hockey and the Nika ability that made it. Yeah, possible. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I got to do research on that. Another five from Kabari2600. It says, even as a Zoro fan, it's mad funny to me that this chapter was hyped to be a Zoro chapter, but it just gave people more material to slander him. <laughs> I, I never got, I didn't get the, the Zoro slander from this chapter. It was in the community, but I didn't get it. Like, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Luigi didn't. Whatever. 
We got another two from DJ. It says, 42-year-old man with two kids and a wife. We out here. What? <laughs> Congrats, DJ. Yeah, exactly. Congrats. Another five from Luffy Lank. People really forget how fast these characters are. Pre-time skip, exhausted Zoro dodge, Kuma's swift path, cannon, a light speed attack at point blank range. Yep. Uh, people go back and forth on what light speed actually is in One Piece. We not, We can't do that. We though. can't do it today. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> we got another 16 from next 16 month membership to Yonko status from Illusion. It says, is that the boys with the 100K? Congrats <laughs> <laughs> to y'all boys. Y'all on the way to 1 million. 1 million would be crazy. Thank yeah, you. 1 yeah, million would yeah, be crazy. crazy. And they were saying it's just 1,000. Straight to me, just give me all the other numbers. <laughs> yeah, there's so many numbers about that. <laughs> yeah, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. We're just grateful. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think a lot of people think like uh, when they have more subs, they immediately like have a bigger community. And I, I've seen other people who have like a lot of subs, but they don't have the the, uh, the community that we have. Like yeah. this community is so like much more engaged, yeah. and it's been like that ever since we were even at like five K subs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like we've always felt. Bigger, because we are bigger. Pause. <laughs> then we actually work, which is amazing. So that's all thanks to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, seriously. Yeah. And join the Discord if you haven't already. It's, yeah, join the still. Discord if you haven't. Another five from Did Brando. It says, do y'all think that hockey will be changed to keep up the Gorsei's mythical devil fruits and gear five? I feel like hockey needs a boost to stay relevant. I think... The Gorsei's showing the boost right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in... in <laughs> In general, yeah, the hockey's the, crazy. we've had avenues to what hockey could really be, right? At the top tiers. Like, Shanks has shown us. He's been showing more. us since him and Whitebeard met. Right. Yeah. Like, there's more, there's more to and be And people done. denied it. People swear yeah. it was nothing. Yeah. There was always more there. So I don't think it needs to be changed, per se, but we're just going to see what it, the top of it actually looks like. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, another two from Mukuro D. Joestar. It says, Garce are bums like DBS Zamasu non-fused. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disrespectful. One, Zamasu was able to keep up with Super Saiyan 2 Goku. All right? Let's just get that out of the way. He's all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We got another two from Kibari. It says, I got no one to talk to about One Piece. Thank y'all for building a community. Hey, man. Yeah, thank hey, you, man. Hey, man, join the Discord, bro. It, it always it, it hurts my heart when I hear people say that they don't have anybody to talk uh, to about One Piece. Because, like... Sebastian's like, I've never... I've never experienced that. Never, experience that. <laughs> <laughs> never. Not one second, bro. <laughs> not one second. Um, but glad to have you. Yes. Mm-hmm. We got another you. 20 from Shonen Showdown. The says, boy! Congrats. That 100K talk. So happy <laughs> y'all keep shining. Also, Jinbei's reaction to Warcry's Conqueror's Hockey... Was the same for Shanks. Thoughts? Gar say top five. Hashtag Larry said all admir- admirals were holding back. We will get into the admiral We're about talk to get into it. Soon. But yo, follow and subscribe to Shonen Showdown. Yes, the boy. Thank you, bro. Uh, I will be joining him this Thursday. Okay. Uh, because you're out of town. Right? Uh-huh. I'll speak to him. See if we can okay. both join. Yeah. But he's having a, a One Piece uh, scaling thing. I don't want to let too much information out, but I'll post it in our Discord so everybody could join up and follow. But it's going to be fun. All right. Yeah. But listen, man, we saw the reaction. I talked about it earlier. <laughs> but we'll see. But thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the super chats. That is all the super chats for now. Mm-hmm. So we're going to jump back into the chapter, okay? This is going to be the final part of the chapter. Um, give me one second. I lost my place. <laughs> All right. In the chapter, Nami calls Jinbei and Zoro to hurry up. Also, for everybody, I just want to say this. Y'all always be ragging like Lionel and Lawrence for saying Zolo or whatever. Bro, the official Viz <laughs> translation <laughs> literally says Zolo. All right? <laughs> Stephen Paul, the translator, the official translator, says Zolo in this chapter. Mm-hmm. So stop ragging my boys, bro. All right? Keep ragging. <laughs> That's it. Get over it, bro. Zorro, bro. Get over it, bro. Nah, it's Zorro. You could you could rag him for the Elbaf thing, bro. That's all right. <laughs> he says it incorrectly. That's for sure. But the Zolo thing, stop, bro. I'm so tired of hearing it. All right. In the chapter, Nami calls Jimbe and Zoro to hurry up. Jimbe assures her that they are on their way. When we switch to Jewelry Bonnie, who is prevented from boarding the giant warrior pirate's ship by the Vice Admirals, Sanji is on his way to Bonnie's group carrying Vegapunk. St. Mars finds York and axes her 
where the room with the monitor is. However, York is terrified and can't help but shriek in horror, telling it to go away. <laughs> Marines aboard the Marine battleship yell out to Kazaro and ask him to show them his wounds so they could treat him. Kazaro responds that he is wounded with an arm over his eyes and asks them to just let him rest. Suddenly, there was an urgent report that the Marines noticed that there was something much larger than the giants on the island. The vast creature is groaning about something. Then we see and hear the Iron Giant say, Joy Boy, sorry. So guys, what were your thoughts on the final piece of the chapter? And we'll start with Law. I mean, Lionel. I always do it, bro. I'm doing it until we're mad old. <laughs> um, I got I get a little bit. I got a little bit hyped seeing um, the vice animals um, at the ship because um, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, mostly because I have more resistance. Like, <laughs> Light work. Look at who's going there though. Yo, Lado, you're the only person I know, bro. Yo, you're the only person. He be batting for them. Bro. Yo, all the time. And that bro. used to be my thing, bro. Yo, all the time, I bro. Up, I don't bro. understand, bro. I gave up, bro. Go ahead, my bad, Lado. <laughs> but most of going back is who's there. It's right now. It's just Bonnie and Jimbe with three vice admirals. I know Sanji's like kind of right behind them. So, is it what, Frankie right no, there? No, 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 no. Bonnie's with uh, Frankie, Atlas, and Kuma. Sanji is right behind them with Vegapunk. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm well, I don't know how like how much they would fight wise. Like, and most of I'm thinking of the fighters are gonna mostly gonna be because uh, Kuma's. I don't know. I don't think he's doing anything right now. He's like frozen. Bonnie, I don't know if she can still fight anymore. Like her set, like her ability, her mindset, and everything. So I don't know. Most I'm just thinking of is Frankie and Sanji. Because I don't know if Alice is going to do anything against the vice admiral. Sanji's not there yet, though. Yeah, but I think he's, like... For he's the, nearby, but he's not there he yet. He is, but uh, going to, like... Sanji has that weird sensing thing with women, and, like, if she sees or feels Bonnie in, in trouble, he's going to be there, like, in two seconds. So Yeah. So that's why I think Sanji's going to be there. I could be wrong, but I think that's going to happen. Because um, he he's been doing it through an egghead, you know, saving Bonnie, you know. So I just want to see how they're going to, like, mostly hyper cutting more resistance, because, like... Again, I always like when the straw hats are more in dire straits. I don't like them just getting away a little quickly. I want as much possible situation and more dire situation than what we're going to get. And like that's what I'm mostly seeing because, like, how they – I always, like, they go through so much. How do they get out of this? Mm -hmm. How What how, what happens to them when – how they escape? I always thought – again, adding more resistance to Vice Sound was good. And everybody thinks, all right, they're going to be washed. But, again, so, so there's three of them. Can Sanji take out three if Frankie can't do anything? And if Frankie can do something, it's going to be two against one. And, and that's more advice I was going to come to. So we don't know. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I know. But I just want to see something a little bit. All right. Shut um. up. <laughs> 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 but I hope it's still alive. All right. All right. So, um, but this also goes into, um, I'm skipping the York thing because, yeah. But um, again, we all always think about the Kazao thing. And um, pretty much more and more is playing that. Because I always says, like, you know, I'm deeply wounded. Clearly, he's not fully talking about the wound that Luffy got, gave him through the fight. He's talking about pretty much what he had to do. And he pretty much thinks that Vegapunk is passing. Like, he, like, Vegapunk is not going to survive this. Like, he thinks that him and, like, you know, Saturn and pretty much finished the mission in a way. He may hoping that Vegapunk survives mostly, but the fact that he probably thinks Vegapunk is gone because of how much damage he is, he's like, pretty much, he should be helping them right now. He should be helping the Gorsling, but he's not. He could help them. Because we know for a fact he could get up and do continue fighting. But he's shown he's choosing not to. He even went on the ship. He's even off the island at this point. I mean, he got up and left the island to go on the ship and just rest. Because he didn't want to fight anymore. And that goes to because all being this cold, you know, cold blooded, like, you know, hitman, showing that clearly he wasn't about it. He want he wanted to finish the mission to as much as he could, but he also was divided because he didn't want to do this in the first place. And now he like he he did what pretty much about Lucy he calmed it but look what look at the state he's in he can't even fight anymore and we know he could we you know we could get back up he know he could, could like you know aid the aid the Garcia but he doesn't he like he's really saying I can't fight anymore so right there shows again because I was like he so much he held back overall because again we know how beast Kazao is we see the most of the times pre time skip how beast he is. We saw how quickly when he took out the 11 supernovas in the instant. 
Again, the stuff that, again, we saw the stuff he did at Me Ford War. None of the stuff we saw at um at Me Ford War or Saudi Arabia to go, we didn't see that at Egghead. Shut up. I know. We were, uh, <laughs> but we don't see we don't see it now. So like and it goes into again, this is why I always think like the Marines eventually again, I don't know if it's gonna happen ever, but the Marines are mostly showing that they are divided against the world government. They listen to them. Like the Marines show that they're not fully um, like Rob Lucci. Like, Rob Lucci's willing to just jump in and listen and, like, you know, and be that, you know, the government's dog. The Marines show, like, they're constantly bickering and fighting, disagreeing with the world government. And Kazao, the one we thought was mostly going to be with them, besides Akainu, but even Akainu disagrees with them most of the time, sometimes. Yeah. So, like, I tell, I'm waiting to, again, I'm waiting for a point where the Marines are eventually going to break off the world government. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I could be just theorizing, but more and more showing that the Marines are divided, they don't fully align with the world government, what they think or they're saying, and they go to say. So, like, and that's what they're, they're different factions. So, like, um, that's all my piece on Kizaru. This thing was interesting. The, honestly, I didn't know he could talk. That threw me off completely. You could talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and it's a conscious thing, it's a conscious thing to about Joy Boy. Because, like, now I'm thinking, do you think it's a just machine or somebody's inside it? Yo, Lord. Who? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? I gotta find that meme, yeah. bro. Yo. <laughs> the but, Truman but, Show is so funny. Yeah. But I don't know. Do you think it's actually just a machine or there's somebody inside that the whole time? It's a machine, bro. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been alive for like 400 yeah, years. Yeah, bro. In the, in the dumpster. I mean... Hey, at this point, I'm not gonna, I'm would, not gonna say you, it's too far-fetched. Would you actually be shocked if somebody... Yeah! Was yes! I absolutely would be shocked. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just, just read this chapter. <laughs> yeah. And that it wouldn't be Yo, shocking. Yo, the girls are different. Yo, not, not that's my person point. And a robot. This is from an era where these things were around. Bro. Yeah, and I guess. But think also with Zunisha. Yeah, They're talking about he and well. Zunisha both talking about Joe Bay right now. How old is Zunisha right now? Yo, the, yeah, the median it, is like Zunisha is also an animal. And it laid there for 400 so years. I it didn't move. Yeah. I don't, I don't like, think they didn't go out to eat. I don't think <laughs> like, we know Zunisha's taking Yo, showers. My <laughs> point is, we're in a very fantastical world right now. <laughs> Somebody being in this thing isn't far-fetched to okay, me. Okay, bro. It's not. Okay. The, the likelihood is, like, 1%. <laughs> the longest <laughs> fasting in history. <laughs> yeah. Fasting for 400. No. We're right, sleeping. More, but in Hibernation, bro. Hey, man. No. I'm probably going to take a nap. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, that's it. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> long. Go, brother. So the only way I'm excited about seeing these arrows is finally get to see Frankie take them out. Like yes. that's that's what me and Sasha talked about it earlier, and that's what I want to see. I want to see Sasha's gonna probably help too because there's three of them, and I believe Frankie is strong. But taking on three vice arrows that may be a little, you know, that's gonna be too much for him. So, but. I want it because we were talking before. We want to see Frankie do something. We want to see him take out these vice admirals, showing that again, uh, one is going to boost up how high the monster trials and they are. But like Frankie, who's not yet, uh, who's not on the monster trio level, but he's still vice admiral level. We still got to confirm that, and I want to see that here. Him put in work. So that's what I'm excited about them get taken out here. And what I was thinking about here is um, uh, one real quick. I think it's faster for me to run. What else are you going to do? Like what he said when Jimmy said that? <laughs> what else are you going to do? What are your options? Anyway, but yeah, um, Vegapunk and Sanji. We know Sanji, he's like, you know, supposed to be, I know a lot of it is just towards women, but I believe his observation is very, very keen. Like it's very, very sharp, right? And it's also we talk about Kazaro, right? Because, you know, when someone passes, their voice goes out. Is Sanji still... Sensing or hearing Vegapunk's voice while he's still carrying him. Because it's like if he's passed, you just, in a way, you just leave him. What? Bro. What? They're not going to leave Vegapunk. <laughs> if he's, what, so he's just leave yeah. the body, bro? The, if the body's passed, why take it with Yo, you? Yo, this is wild. Yeah. But <laughs> why? Bro? So you don't leave your man just like, I right, like, no proper burial, no, like, Bring him to the family. You like, think Luffy would be cool? Like, oh, yeah, yo, yeah. my bad, bro. He passed. Yo, you serious? But you think you're going to take him, gonna take him just to bury him? Bro. No respect? All right. That's crazy, bro. Luffy wasn't fighting for Ace's body. <laughs> Was he not? No. 
He spent the block after and rang the ox bell or whatever. He not was, for Ace's body. He probably told I mean, him that he he passed out. <laughs> yeah, and he probably How could. He Lawrence. and he probably told him that Shanks came yeah, in to the body. Yeah, you think Luffy would have just left? The we we literally have an example of Luffy's role model paying homage and respect to those who passed bodies, and you're just like Luffy, not gonna care that big a point. I'm not <laughs> like, bro, what? That's not what I'm saying here. <laughs> what was Shanks do, man? Uh, well, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying here is the fact that Sanji's carrying Vegapunk. Is he believes he's still alive, or hearing his voice that proves that Vegapunk is still alive? Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Not the other part. All right, got tripping. <laughs> we got 11 minutes, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and to me, just going on the uh, the um, the Kazaro thing, real thing. To me, Lana, you're saying we know this for a fact. I'm just gonna rebuttal the fact part, right? <laughs> because to me, I can very much see this as the same way. Yes, I believe Kazaro was holding back, right? But just because you're holding back doesn't mean you still didn't get put. Regardless of what you say, right? The same way, this to me, it's like the same way where Kazaro took that shot from uh, from Luffy, where it like entered his brain that put him down. Like, hold on, I, I need like a minute, you know, or a few to get back up. The same way, this way, because now it's not just his brain or his head; it's his entire body, but also smacked against um, a Zoan user as in the level of a Gorosei member. So the amount of force that Luffy put into that and smacked against him. That left a heavy blow on Kazaro. I think it's not fully that that Captain Delta can count because, of course, he's going to be feeling remorse for the loss of his friend, as in Vegapunk, if he did pass or what he had to do because, obviously, his heart wasn't in it. Yes, I do recognize that, but I don't think it's just that. I think he's also, right, because also, too, will shows that it can allow you to be more durable, right? If your heart and your will is not in this fight, it can allow him to be a little kind of like weaker where he's taking attacks that would probably wouldn't normally affect him as much, right? Odin survived the boiling. Luffy survived. Uh, Zoro, nothing happened. So just those things where maybe he's not saying his will was weakened, but his heart was in it. So his will wasn't that activated in this fight. So it let him take attacks more damage than he could have. I'm saying that, right? But to me, I still think he took real damage. But part of it is because of the um, Vega Punk and uh, Sentumaro and all that going on, right? And um, I believe. Last thing I'm gonna say. I believe this this machine is going to be the key factor of why they escape. It's going to hold them off for whatever reason, whatever power, and then they're going to get away through the machines, uh, this giant machine's uh, help. All right. Yeah. So? All right, I'll be quick. Um, I let Lionel take a lot of, you know, flack or whatever. <laughs> I was hyped to see them vice admirals too. For, for, for Lawrence's reason. <laughs> <laughs> but not just for Frankie. I do want Frankie to get a 1v1. I want to see Body fight one of them. I don't see why Body can't fight a vice admiral. Which I guess is the opposite of hype. You know what I'm saying? She's a little girl or whatever. But like Bonnie has an interesting fighting style. Yeah. I feel like she should be able to fight a vice armor. Like, for real. Um, I don't know about... I, I don't remember where Zoro and like Jinbei are. Like, I don't know if they'll factor into that. Whether Sanji will factor into that or whatever. Um, I thought the, the where is the monitor room, right? And York's reaction was hilarious. But it also had me like dumbfounded. Because this is like a Vegapunk. I didn't expect Vegapunk to react that way. That was the reaction of like the persona of York versus the actual like intelligence of York to me anyway. I, I, it kind of threw me off. Uh, the Kazaro thing, um, there were some great points made on both sides. Um, ultimately, Kazaro could get up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he could get up, he could do something. He talked about the wounds. It was clearly a metaphor for his actual wounds, his his his, uh, his conflict. Ties. Yeah, his mm-hmm. conflict, his internal struggle with what he had to do here today. And yeah, he got damaged, like Lawrence said. He could get up. He could fight. He could continue fighting Luffy if need be. Mm-hmm. Like he's not down because Luffy slammed him and threw him. To me, anyway. Like, come on. Um, in regards to the giant robot, I don't have much. It was cool to see it. It reminded me of the Joy Boys apology to Poseidon. Mm-hmm. Why am I just so sorry? <laughs> what, what, what y'all did? Bro? What y'all was on back in the day that everybody's writing these letters of apology? I'm pretty sure didn't Lily have an apology too? Am I tripping? I don't remember what Lily did. I don't remember. I gotta go back and read that. Zanisha. But y'all just sorry, <laughs> all of y'all. Somebody did some bull. They all um, failed, man. But that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, I'm not hyped about the Vice Admirals at all. <laughs> you, I think I, 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 knuckle crack, I seriously think that Frankie could just solo them if he wants That's to. Wild. Like, That's they're wild. that bad. <laughs> They've always been that bad. Momonga has only been the only Vice Admiral I've ever respected in life, besides Garp. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they've just been terrible throughout. Um, the 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 Kazara part, I've been told y'all, bro. Like it's he's. I know Lawrence is trying to say like you know no matter what he still got damaged. Yeah, man. I mean, if I don't want to fight somebody and they punch me in the face, I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> that's just what it is. Yeah. But it's like, how much am I dishing back out? And that's yeah. the point I kept trying to tell everybody. Like everybody's like, yo, you just coping. I'm like, no. The dude has literally stated emotionally. There's been so. This is like that Shanks effect where Shanks shows you like he's literally top of the verse by doing certain things. And you don't want to take it for like what it is, but instead you're like, he he's pretty bad. Oh, he just broke the ship with hockey. That nobody has done that until we start getting until later in the series. Yeah. But it's like, yo, the the, the instances are there. Cazaro at every point has either closed his eyes, hoped somebody would stop him, stop getting up when he got hit. There's just so many examples, right? But he literally states in this chapter, yo, I, I don't even want to do this. Like just I just want to stop doing what I'm doing. So, for me, he not going all out. There's no way he's not going all out. Is he holding back? Absolutely. Just because the admirals have always been in a position where, like, they either either have to hold back or they can't go all out doesn't mean that these guys are not strong. Mm -hmm. It's just that, yo, I can't murk these citizens. I'm emotionally tied to this guy and the people that's on the island. I I know things are wrong. I got to figure out a way to live up to my fullest capabilities, even though, like, I can't. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't give Sabo the credit he got at Maddie Joa when they fought. Because easily one of the Celestial Dragons could have had a pebble go onto their foot and be like, yo, murk that, murk that Green Bull guy right there. <laughs> and they would have had to murk him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they have to hold back. Um, and then I had an interesting theory before we start reading Super Chats and head off. I think the Iron Giant was probably Joy Boy's Frankie. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Probably fully transformed himself, unlike Frankie, <laughs> and he ended up sitting away until he was needed again. And it's funny because we always thought Brooke was going to be the last person to survive. Maybe it's Frankie. Mm. And look, he just thought of the Full Metal Alchemist, the brother. With Alphonse. Yeah. 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 With Alphonse, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I think the giant will help them because he'll show them how to stop the Gorosei from regenerating because the infinite energy was needed to power the Iron Giant. Vegapunk said he, he couldn't find it, so he could never power the thing. Mm-hmm. And the only time it's been powered was during the Fishman Revolution 200 years ago. Maybe uh, the Giant is being powered by something, and that same something is going to stop the Gorosei from regenerating. Mm. And then we'll figure out what type of energy that's like going to be. Like it emits a, a shockwave that prevents the regeneration? Probably, yeah. Yo, that's super Fallout vibes, bro. Yeah, we'll see, though. Mm. But, yeah, that was my take. All right. Uh, we got some super chats. Uh, we're gonna read them all, and then we will say our our goodbyes for this episode. Yeah, sorry we didn't get the calls, y'all. Yeah, we will get the calls next week for sure. We got another five from Shabam Gaming. It says, "I found out Marv is Emu, and y'all are his Garse." Hashtag Marv's top one. <laughs> I think we're missing someone. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Yo, can I say something real quick? Go ahead, Marv. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say because uh, I didn't speak earlier, I didn't want to slow down the show, but uh, I'm I'm really proud to be part of this show, and um, it does warm my heart whenever the chat is uh, talking to me and saying I'm the go and all this stuff. <laughs> um, you know, I've had moments where I feel like um, like Usopp when the ship was uh, when the going Mary was getting retired. And I wonder, like, man, are we still good enough for uh, T.O.P.T.? Oh, so, man. yeah, when you when the chat says things like that to me, like, I really appreciate it. So, Aww. proud to still be here and proud to be part of the team. So, thank you, Mark. Congratulations, thank you. Appreciate you, Mark. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Much love. W's in the chat for Marv, everybody. Marv, you know what's up, man. Yeah, you're not You Usopp, like bro. Frankie, bro. No, I'm, definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely Frankie, but I have what's up more. <laughs> um, we got another 10 New Zealand dollars from McNaughty. It says, do you think everyone can hear the giant robot, or is it a Zoe and Sea King situation where Luffy's the only one that can hear it? Hashtag Zoro Gang. Voice uh, of all things sounds correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. Another five from Luffy Length. It says, why are y'all afraid to embrace how broken One Piece is? Vegeta is in super. Couldn't even lift two million pounds. Hajrudin with shattered bones blew away 20 million. I don't know. That's, I, don't know. I don't know, man. He, he was also in base form, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. We got another two from Legic the Goat. It says Sanji gonna save York after betrayal. Hmm? 
<laughs> Terrible. <laughs> he would, though. Another two for movie length, and Goku got clapped by a pinky ring laser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't scale with super stuff. I've all. been watching uh the Dragon Ball manga mm-hmm. on YouTube and it's some guy explaining like panels and it's like very entertaining. Mm. Yo, the things that Goku was taking as a kid, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Like it's different. Mm-hmm. It's it's different. That's why I don't understand how y'all think Krillin not the goat. Like Krillin not being wasn't Kaido. doing yeah, that. We gotta crazy. read these, bro. That's Nothing crazy. too. From Smokey Johnson. This is his first time catching a live hashtag kid of fraud hashtag Waffle Gang. Oh, also the the regular Dragon Ball humans. They have telepathy. <laughs> they do. One, one yeah, they jumped do. from a mountain. Yeah. General yeah. Tao is like a normal human. General He's Tao is throwing columns across the... Yo, you telling me regular <laughs> humans ain't stronger than one piece? You're crazy, bro. We got another five anyway. from Maki Jiro. It says, Lawrence is right. The machine is sentient. The robot recognizes failure and feels the need to apologize. It's more sentient than Kuma is, right? I think it was Lionel who was saying that, but yeah. Right? Am I sure? Wait, what? <laughs> we got another two from Jaden Jiro. It says, Kazara will fight the Gorosei to protect Vegapunk's message. That would be a nice little character development to me. Mm-hmm. Now, the two from Mike Mula, it says, if Riley from Boondocks had hockey, would he would be fired? Um, Huey is better and stronger than Riley. Okay. Uh, Huey would probably have the Conqueror's hockey over Riley. Yeah. Another five. Granddad wouldn't. We got another five from <laughs> Needles25, but no Super Chat attacks. Next time, let us know your thoughts. And another okay. two from Alex Sharkson. It says, we need a Marv cam every now and then with a <laughs> knock of a fist. They love you, Marv. Marv, would you ever do a, a cam inside the stoop? Like, hey, maybe, maybe. Maybe? Yeah, I don't like to make the show about me, but... We'll yeah. <laughs> Once in the blue. All right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they request it. Uh, that was it? Yep. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, uh, like, I, I know we show our support all the time, super heavy, but it's really, a pre- we appreciate it, man. I think the, the this episode is full of, uh, uh, you know, just being grateful for everything that we are, everything that we have. You know, I just want to, you know, I know Marv said his piece too. Uh, I'm glad you guys vibe with that. Thank you, Marv, as usual, for everything that you always do, bro. Seriously. And thank you to the community. I know we just got a $5 Super Chat again. Hey, what do y'all think? What do y'all do for 9 to 5 other than YouTube? I make parts for Harleys. I strip, bro. Uh, it's my I job do OnlyFans, bro. I'm, my job I, is very I swing meat. <laughs> All right? No, I'm joking. Uh, but thank you for the 5 but thank you guys for everything that you do. Seriously, thank you for loving us. Uh, 100K, it's just a number. Oh, always remember that. It's just a number. I know it means a lot to you guys, and obviously it does for us too. But it's really just like just a number, man. Like even Marv got at us a little bit earlier when we first came in. He was like, I know you guys are not going to like think much of it. And, <laughs> but, you, but you should. <laughs> But either we hit a million or, or 500 billion, I think the, the mindset is still the same. 500 billion subscribers? We good. Even that many yeah. people in the world. We good. <laughs> we <laughs> they make accounts. other accounts, bro. <laughs> but yeah, with much love, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Seb. And this is that One Piece Talk. Jana. Jana. <laughs>